Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to Old Trafford Odyssey. I'm Ankit. I'm Vidyut. And I'm and Craig. This is your latest Manchester United news. Welcome to our Manchester United fan channel. Today is going to be our first live show. And what better way to get into it by discussing and dissecting our entire Manchester United squad. For our first show, we already have a guest today, a fellow Manchester United fan and a very close friend, Craig Gonzalez. Hi guys. So without further ado, guys, uh, let's get straight into it. Lots to discuss today. Uh, we're going to start with, of course, the hot topic, which is the Manchester United takeover sale. The Glazer saga, which seems to just keep going on. So what are your views, guys? I honestly wanted to come to an end. It's been been a it's, long, the green and gold, the scarves. It's been a decade of us wanting them out, and up till now, like we we're praying, like fingers crossed, like genuinely, like I hope it happens soon. What uh, do you think? I don't know. But it's it's obviously it's been seventeen years since uh, Glazers have bought us, and it's been uh, since day one that we never wanted Glazers, and now that uh, since the time, how many days has it been since uh, they've announced that they are ready to sell or uh, uh, get uh, some kind of an investment inside, some kind of deal, and uh, uh, this is not an ideal situation to be in right now for us, Manchester United. No, absolutely not. Definitely not, and it's it's very scary because uh, uh, all the clubs, all the other clubs who are already above us, like 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 Arsenal, like City, and obviously Chelsea, are, they already have a strong team. Uh, you know, Newcastle, they're already doing well, uh, and they all are moving in the market. Mm. And apparently, uh, there are rumors like always, like every summer, that's that's been happening with Manchester United. We've uh, been linked with a zillion players, but uh, we know how this ends. It starts out early and then yeah, it takes it's absolutely right. It's so right up to the wire deadline. And I don't think so till the time you know. Uh, not good enough. Till the time we don't know what is happening with the ownership. Uh, we don't even know how much a uh, budget is. To be honest. Um, Varying reports, no. Contradictory Varying to reports. that, actually, uh, the reports, latest reports that uh, we've been getting and hearing is that, irrespective of who takes us over, whether it's uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe or mm. whether it's Sheikh Jassim, Manchester United will still spend about more than two hundred million pounds this summer. I don't know what happens after this summer. Once we do get taken over by um, either of the party, obviously uh, with Sheikh Jassim, we all know uh, it's quite clear it's super wealth. So that straight away we get completely the debt is completely clear from the club. There is going to be like a boatload of investment straight up. We all know that. Um, however, when it comes to Sir Jim, um, it's it's just it's chaotic, isn't it? We we have no clue what's happening because um, one day we heard he wanted the entire club. The next day, it's like he's probably taking about 50% of the shares only. And now it's more like he's probably taking 36% while keeping all six glazers in. So, I mean, yeah, agreed. We will spend um, more than 200 million or north of 200 million this summer. Definitely because new owners coming in, I'm sure they want to put in a statement. They all want to show intent that, you know, oh, we're going to be doing this, that. Plus, uh, with Sir Jim, we all know there's going to be a lot of PR spin and everything. But yeah, irrespective of who owns us, we do, we will spend more than 200 million contradictory to, you know, uh, what the other reports have been or what we all thought earlier that, you know, we're going to have a lot of issues with no money given with uh, the Champions League spot finishing third. And uh, obviously there are going to be some outgoings to help with the budget. So yeah, we will spend more, but that's for this summer. I don't know how things work going ahead with all six glazers in what happens with the class A, class B shares and uh, how much of a say will the glazers have if they all do stick around. As you all know, uh, Manchester United fans have always been clear about one thing that it's glazers out. That has been the protest yeah, all along. Yeah. So um, It doesn't matter whether the opposite side is uh, uh, Althani or uh, it's uh, anybody. Anybody chooses to keep glazers at any way at the club is mm -hmm. a wrong owner for us. The enemy and of the club. He is the enemy of the club. Yeah. So but I, I don't think so how people can support Sir Jim, uh, Sir Jim's bid uh, to buy Manchester United because uh, definitely it's it's uh, we're not going to be anywhere close to uh, you know winning titles or challenging for mm -hmm. them even even top four for that matter. I don't think so. Under even, uh, Sir Jim, I don't think that's happening. 
I I agree. I would agree to that. He, what do you surgeon for me? Surgeon is going to be the seventh glazer. To be very honest, I think like it's it it to be. Yeah, that's a very it, very it, interesting way to put it. But it's just getting worse. Like our <laughs> debt from five hundred, six hundred million, whatever it is now, it's probably going to double. Um, it's the idea. Is it really uh, going to be made? Debt is, is that going to happen? Already, a close to a billion already, and that's, um, that's huge. Exactly, it's already huge, and. that's already been stated before that that debt is not going to be cleared if we are owned by sir jim ratcliffe mm. um obviously uh, what he says or that's coming or the reports that are coming out from sir jim's side have always been more like yes uh, the debt won't be cleared but they they don't plan to add any more debt which um sounds really funny to me because um if you're not if on one hand you say you're not going to add any more debt to the club on the other hand you're buying the club in debt mm-hmm. that is uh, in a way similar to what the glazers yeah, did to us how, 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 so, so exactly and um, secondly yeah. if you now decide like uh, the current reports and you decide to keep the glazers in how long are you going to keep that them here for um there is no clarity to that secondly if they put in a poll or a call option in the contract or clause or in their discussions or agreement of the sale whatever that is uh it basically says that the first window would be about 3 years from now see i'm not not but buying my point is Three years exactly. from now, you I have won the Blazers out now. How can you trust? And them? a man who said, you know, a man who claims to be a United fan, and ends up keeping the Blazers in charge, which has been like the number one thing that United fans want. We have been one about when it comes to the Blazers. The entire fan base is one. That is probably the only topic that our fan base is united. not at all split on. Yeah, we're united. In, united. Yeah, we're United. Yeah, we're absolutely united yeah. in that particular yeah. aspect. That Blazers out now. Mm. and we want full sale only so um with the sir jim rit ratcliffe bit it seems more like you know just sugar coating things and you know um just playing with words around no matter how you put it whether it is a debt directly on a club or whether inios takes it it's I, associated I, debt it's still debt that eventually inios will expect a return for of course somewhere somewhere down the line obviously they will they are not here to do charity are they absolutely yeah. i mean no No, it's a business they're, they're company. They're there for a reason. They're there yeah. for a reason, yeah. and I, I think it's sinister in nature. Yeah. To be honest, and, and, and I, I would also I think the reason why the Glazers don't want to sell is also because I'm sure they are getting something out of this by staying in in uh, uh, as an owner as a part I mean, owner with the few club. Years, it's it's lot, it could be them. the Super League. It could be the broadcasting deal that Manchester United have been trying to crack yeah. since years. Uh, because they uh, they have the uh, obviously we've got the maximum uh, majority fan base the you know uh, we've got around seven hundred million fan all over the world so obviously they think that they they should be getting a, a bigger chunk of from the broadcasting deal or they're already getting a bigger chunk but I mean with the Glazers we all know it's all yeah. about more greed, money it's greed, know, it's greed greed exactly greed, it's, greed. it's always more money it's just it's just been driven by money right and right now with the Sir Jim build it's more like them getting like a complete clean slate because. no investment from them right are they going to be investing after this deal no so they still get to stay they still get to make their money even if they decide to leave after 2 to 3 years down the line they have that pull and call option wherein they can sell their shares for a preset price which is going to be higher than yeah. what it is now so they they're secure they're getting money while having to do nothing <laughs> at all they they're getting like a complete clean slate and like another push for another 3 to 5 years to probably suck United more. Yeah, it's like their retirement plan. Exactly. They they've, they've been sucking us dry. They bled us dry, yeah. and now they want to stay. And so Jim Ratcliffe, who claims to be a Manchester United fan, a no, homeboy, no, 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 come on, yeah. is apparently yeah. keeping all of them in now. And I don't know what's up with that. And uh, again. Um, yeah, people would say that he's doing a smart thing. At least he's getting the uh, b- owners, uh, no. uh, you know, getting the no. club, and in the future he's losing he's the fans. Plan, but he's losing he's on the losing fans. Losing us fans. But this is not a smart I mean, thing to do. A uh, smart yeah, thing. We've been around for so long. We've seen exactly. We've seen and, Old Trafford. And the last ten years have been pain. It's, it's been hard. Absolutely. Shouldn't be that way. Absolutely, and I mean uh, to make things worse, there are reports coming out of Nice selling their best player to our biggest immediate rival, Turan. which is Liverpool. Yeah, Turan. So 
I don't even know what's up with that. And I mean, what is Sergeant thinking exactly, or what does he plan to do? And let's let's let not even discuss and talk about forget about this thing about uh, uh, the niece captain coming out and saying exactly what is wrong with the club. Uh, and, uh, if you if you see the reports of Nice so uh, that 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 it's 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 like the Jesus 2.0 yeah uh, they have been people. running Nice exactly she like how they were they have been running united no, down the they have hired non football people who've got no clue what they are doing uh, exactly like what Jesus have been doing and, agree uh, i don't think so I I just hope and I just wish and I pray that uh, it's Altani uh, in the end. However, oh. it is that they buy. United we really hope this that it's Altani. This should have been dusted by now. Yeah, but it should have been. The yeah. fact that we're still I not mean, clear it and the, the season the season's over, we still don't know that the no proper uh, you know no confirmation as such about the takeover just shows that the Glazers. Are there just to make a buck? Or I mean, there they don't care about the club. They don't care. Know yeah, I mean, there's not been a doubt in that, and this shouldn't be. Or come as a surprise to anybody, because we all know the Glazers don't give a rat's ass about yeah, yeah. the club or the fans. Yeah. The only thing they actually care about is the money. So at the end of the day, the whole fact that this saga has drawn out so far and so long, and if Glazers want to stay right there, out and out, that's their decision. It's an easy one. They already have a deal in place to that allows them to stay. But the entire deal, uh, uh, being stretched so long, the entire sales saga being stretched so long points to one thing: that there is a price to this club. Yeah, we don't know that what the price is, but there is a price for the Glazers yeah. to walk. Now it remains to be seen if whether the Qataris are willing to meet that price yeah, or not. Yeah, do do they think that it uh, it is worth but putting that it's price? Because sum, man. see, it's see, huge it's sum. huge sum again, again. Uh, we already, I think, so Altani and everybody are already overpaying. Uh, they are. And I mean, it's a stupid. Then, then what Manchester United is worth right now yeah. currently? It's, it's absolutely going to be. Uh, I mean, uh, if you talk about any other club in the world, and if you you know replace. Manchester United with any other club in the world right now, I don't think it becomes a such a huge saga wherein uh, uh, or the owners have that sort of power like the Glazers do. Uh, right now, even with the atrociously high price tag that's slapped on Manchester United, as compared to what their real net worth is of the club, is only because it's Manchester United. Yeah, that's the only reason we still have people bidding and still fighting yeah, to absolutely. get this club. Yeah. Um, any other club. They uh, these guys would be telling the owners that you know oh my god I mean uh, you you absolutely lost team. your head yeah. you know just this is my offer take it or leave it and yeah. then just move on yeah. the whole fact that it is Manchester United is what is still keeping these guys in there and with already we've seen Sheikh Jassim putting bids after bids he's I think already gone way above what our club is worth and if you think about it from a business point of view it is. Not the right decision to overpay for something which is not even worth half of it. So I understand, you know, um, how the Qataris are dealing with this. Obviously, being a Manchester United fan, we all hope that you know um, a miracle happens. Yeah. I mean, he just comes off and you know throws the money that the Glazers demand and takes us over. Because if we do not get bought by super wealth, whether it's Altani or anybody, super wealth with full Glazers out, I cannot see us. Competing for anything, I see Manchester City con- dominance continue over the years to a point where maybe ten to fifteen years down the line, City have their own history. They have their own legacy. They have other clubs like Newcastle who eventually get to the level of City because, like we saw with City, once they you know these clubs with super wealth, once they enter top four, they, they do dropping. not leave. They, yeah, they're not dropping. No, they're not dropping. They're not dropping. They're not dropping. Exactly. The same thing about City that uh, you know they would uh, drop off, and you know it would be difficult for them to uh, every year come in top four. But we all see what's happening. They've been winning titles after titles after titles, and once Newcastle that's have entered the top four, they're not going out. So, so I mean it's, that's it's, it's two out of four already two gone. Well, up with a strong fan base we, as well. Yeah, so absolutely. We, we already have Chelsea. Right. Exactly. With Todd so, Boyle, you, you you see how they are spending, how they've spent yeah. in one season. They spent I mean, six hundred. Yeah. Look at Arsenal right now, right? I mean, um, according to all the English media, uh, the pundits, mainstream media, Arsenal and Arteta have had an excellent season. 
um they 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 had like a good squad by their by their standards by their standards by their standards they were an excellent team you know the, this is these are the reports right the these are not good okay, enough no, this so is this is the mainstream media fine. reports it's right absolutely so, right yeah that, my point that's is that's their level that's if, how that is won. how good arsenal have been why could they not win the league mm. despite having an 8 point lead against <laughs> manchester city um way beyond 50% of the season yeah. they were still in that 8 point lead so why did they not win if they were so good and if everything that they did was right and if things are not about super wealth anymore football's changed yeah football's um, changed you can't have you're not playing games anymore. the amount of games you were playing like about say 10 15 years ago you're playing like two to three times yeah. more games now you need squad depth and you just don't need squad you need good quality squad you need depth. you need a, you need I think a second eleven two yeah, exactly. enough to compete with the first eleven. Exactly, that's, that's what City have, and that's exactly. what and you that, need to have two City first eleven. City has 11. that since what? Since the time Pep Pep Guardiola has come. Yeah, out. that's how they go on a ten game unbeaten run. That's how they go on a ten game winning run, and that was the difference. Eight exactly. point lead. You oh, have you have a you have a club that's backing the manager. Up front, whatever he needs. I don't like a right back. I've just spent what sixty million on a right back. I didn't like it. Next uh, summer, okay, he's off. Another one. I, I spent another sixty million. I didn't like it again. Okay, third one back. They don't sit. Oh, we've already spent sixty million on this player. Oh, let's give, it, let's give it. Let's let's give him player. another chance. Yeah. Let's give another chance. Let's give another. No, they're not doing that. You gotta be ruthless in you today's time. Ruthless. I mean, it's it's not like you know, um, City has. Personal or Guardiola has personal issues with these players that he signs and lets go in like maybe a season or two, yeah. and he signs them for big money. Yeah, it's not. I mean, they don't sign people for cheap or very cheap. You know, we all know that they the transfer right. market they is inflated. They get it right though. City on an average, um, they, no, not I'm really. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, not really. They changed you, three you, goalkeepers yeah. before they yeah. got Edison. Yeah, how many goalkeepers? How many? This, how many centre backs does City have, or have they changed? Honestly, if you look over the past decade, even the Wenger, the amount of money that City have spent yeah. versus we have spent, the way they've utilised their funds versus the way we have utilised our as a shambolic. Bro, I mean, no, 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 as a it's been tolerant. We spend a bomb, like it's absolutely not good enough. All right, absolutely all right, but you're absolutely right. But you need to understand where where is this problem starting from. It's it's the structure, right? Mm-hmm. The owners have given a structure at City where they they've got a director of football who knows what he's doing. Uh, the uh, the the owner or the director of football came in way before Pep was signed. That was the ground uh, foundation that was being laid yep. for Pep to come. Everything was set. Yeah. Then Pep was co- had come in. Then, Even then, Pep Pep signed what seven to eight players in his first season. itself after and and, and uh, they've signed those eight players they they they, they won a league before one uh, like by 2012 the season they beat us on goal difference that yeah. that team already had kevin de bruyne that team already had company that team already Dan had a guerrero david yeah, silva yeah, still he bought seven players in mm-hmm. the next season the players that he bought he didn't like them they were shipped off and new players were bought in How many wingers were bought in? How many midfielders were bought in? And it's it's see it's and it's simple. Like you put in that. It's money. very clear. Money is very important. But as a United fan, I don't think uh, we have ever said that we've not spent money at all. We spent money. Spent we spent a lot of spent money. Spent but bad. what people have to understand is how have we spent that yeah. money and how Maria, easily have we spent it. Um, yeah. forget Di Maria, forget Falcao, forget Pogba, forget all these record okay. signings, and forget these statistical numbers of how much money we've spent. Just take okay. care of Pelis. Just and... think about simple aspects, right? How do we sign these players? Has any of our manager on day one of the transfer window opening been told by our club and our owners that you've got two hundred million pounds? Go spend how you want to. No. Yeah. What happens That's... is, oh, we only have hundred million pounds. We don't have the budget. This is your budget. I am not going to sign this player. That's too expensive. This is what our managers get in reply. Yeah. And after a lot of frustration and the entire transfer windows being dragged, chasing players that are absolutely pro- either not willing to come yeah. or the clubs are not willing to sell them, and we're terrible in that transfer negotiation. We stretch it to an extent where the fans get completely lose their shit. Fans completely yeah. lose it, and then they. end up having massive protests and 
with those protests is when suddenly the glazers always wake up and mysteriously or magically pull yeah, money, money out of their pockets the that the manager never had at the start of the season and will now throw at the last couple of days during the transfer deadline at the manager saying now go buy somebody and we end up panic buying yeah. and we end up overspending for players that are not worth it and we end up overspending which is why we do instead in a transfer window if we are pl- we plan it well we can end up getting about say four or five good decent players with good deals but because our managers only get money after protests and on deadline days and last minute what are we doing we're spending the entire money on trade maybe two players and then telling these two players go create <laughs> miracles and be- do magic on the pitch just to a few guys to be honest it's not just the money i feel like over overall like our recruitment also we is, is we've not been on point But a lot exactly. of stuff missing out on players how, like i said when we could have gotten gotten him for a lot cheaper and there are many players that i can't even name right now we missed out on a lot of yeah, the but why have we missed out on that it's it's not the recruitment the recruitment goes and tells them that this is the player that you need to buy hmm. now who who has the answer who has the power to buy them the club the ceo exactly. the owner exactly at the end of the day your recruitment if, or your scouting if, if team my scouting team is telling me that you need to sign this player before he becomes a big player a big talent out there hmm. and then you will have to pay huge sum of money for it but your owner for some reason chooses to overlook that instruction and not buy it whose fault is that it, is it the scouting network that's the I problem mean, a, i think so our scouting oh, is one of the best scouting you got the recent the uh, just just the recent example i don't think so scouting is an issue i think it's the people who are making the decisions to sign those players or not is exactly. the biggest uh, bigger problem i mean it's logical right look at look at look at recent times ral frani Ralf Rangnick has come out openly and said he he told our team he scouted players he told us we need there yes. at least 10 players he has yes. yes. look at Diaz yes. look at Alvarez is available Alvarez, they yeah. were all available so these were misses if the, if there was no scouting there was no recruitment we wouldn't be having these conversations where our club has been told about these players have been warned we Ole Gunnar Solskjaer asked for money for Haaland He yeah. wasn't given. The same thing happened with so, Frankie De Jong when they were they went to AX. Frankie De Jong did it. They went to AX, but they were scouted by us. And uh, the us uh, chief scout said that you know uh, sign these two boys up, but we let them go. We didn't trust him. So I'm not talking about the scouting here. I'm talking about the overall recruitment. But the, everything, again, the entire no, process. The, the, the club is poorly no, run, basically. Exactly. That's, that's, that's the problem. That's, that's down to whom? It's the Glazers. Exactly <laughs> my point. You who is appointing these guys yeah. under the glazer who Edward appoints the ceo for 10 years what yeah. was edward would doing for 10 years yeah filling glazer pockets that is what he was doing as a ceo pocket. he was filling yeah. the glazer's pockets yeah. Yeah. he didn't care about what's what happening on the football field what is his again all of these guys yeah. zero we've got literally we've got bankers taking footballing decisions bro so i yeah, mean everyone is as available that's that's oh, i mean so long story short basically yeah. uh we all know the frustrations and at the end of the day we all hope that you know this saga ends really soon cuz eric ten hag after the wonderful season he's had no, he's out of brilliance definitely needs that he he's needs been, backing he needs brilliant. investment brilliant. you agree. give this squad to pep guardiola and tell them to do get nah. this result he's done magic he's not, yeah. not going to yeah. get it he's he, done magic he's been underrated this season like, definitely he's not he's not there nominated yeah, yeah that, that's that that's was, a disgrace that not being that's, in the nominations for a manager of the no, month no, was no, a disgrace no. um another one of those by the mainstream media which we seem to have really often these I days what, i mean i don't know pep guardiola and you've been flopping this English um I the why. bias is unreal by the mainstream media Arteta being there in the manager of the year I mean I, I, Arteta has had sure. a worse season than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer I mean you can't deny it the only one that had the expectation exactly, part like exactly. no, but, see, see, everyone expects that from Arsenal it's not more the, even not the expectation it's the, uh, the united bias is always there but i mean so we are hated arteta's better we are not, but we are never yeah, ignored yeah, right. but you know i mean according to the media arteta's better why cuz he probably led the table for a lot of days so how does that matter is my point <laughs> what's the point that's what's my point? point how you does that matter i mean so <laughs> ole, had, 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 ole had a had a worse season than arteta just cuz he didn't lead the table for a few nights uh, yeah. what people are forgetting is the only reason arsenal led the table 
for as long as they did is because Liverpool and Chelsea were sleeping this season. Yeah, were. Manchester United were transitioning yeah, massively transitioning. as yeah, usual. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> as usual. Like Tottenham, <laughs> Tottenham never turned up for this season. Mm. Bottlers. Yeah, they never, they never turned up. Forget <laughs> bottling. So Tottenham never turned up this season. And Manchester City had the least amount of games to begin with initially. Oh, yeah. They had a lot of their games rescheduled at the start and they were only down initially because they played lower games, other teams didn't show up and Manchester City themselves were in a sort of transitioning from their gameplay to suit Haaland. Yeah. Yeah. That is the we only reason why Arteta out. has led the table. 60 million pounds, what is it? Forget it. Play. You have a team that has quality Everyone. everywhere yeah, they, yeah. on the pitch. Why I say that Pep Guardiola couldn't do anything with this Man United team. He cannot do anything. Because simple. Pep Guardiola needs every player to be brilliant at their job. And not just one job. Two, three jobs. You name, you, you pick any city player. They are all with, uh, they're all good with ball at their feet. Their passing is brilliant. They, you don't have to teach those players. This is how you're supposed to pass the ball. But, um, the match yesterday, the, the, the That's match not a manager's yesterday. job to do. Let me put it this way. Hunting uh, us down in packs. Let me put it this way. Seven years in the Premier League. Over 2 billion spent on the squad. Over 2 billion spent on the squad. And uh, about 115 FFP violations later, Pep Guardiola still has zero European Cups. Yeah, we could in, still be FA Cup champions. That should just tell you. Uh, uh, that should just <laughs> tell FFP you. You know, does, I mean, that does work. Guardiola is good Guardiola. when you give him money. It wouldn't feel like a yeah. way. I, I don't. See, Guardiola is good when you give him money. He knows exactly what yeah. to do with exactly. players. Exactly. With good players, he knows if a player can has the basics down. If a player is technically excellent, he can take a brilliant first touch. He can turn around by himself in the game. He can receive balls on half turns. He can finish. He can pass. Pinpoint. Guardiola knows what to do with a player like that. All he has to do is tell this guy, Coach, that's it. You just have to have to be. This is what you need to do. This is what I expect from you. Guardiola, if the manager is not there to... Exactly. He's taken him seven seasons to get here. The manager is not there to teach a player that how to pass a ball. Guardiola is a manager. Under pressure. He's not a coach. Guardiola is a manager, not a coach. There's a difference. He's a manager. He's not a coach. No, no, he is a coach. I, I, I mean, I'm not saying that he's not a coach. See, Obviously, he's a coach. He's a good manager. He's a man manager. <laughs> he's a coach. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, you, what what you're trying to say. I don't see him improving he, a squad. See, he might be able to improve an odd player who's coming out from the youth, a young guy who's who has no pressure to perform, and Guardiola has all the time in the world to give him as much time as he wants. Introduce him to you whatever that, games that, he wants and, and develop them that, that way. I'll, I'll tell you. See what, what I don't see Guardiola developing somebody like a Jaden Sancho right now. The season he's having, I don't see how. But I no, don't no see coach Guardiola. can. I don't or, don't Guardiola can get rid of him. Well, exactly. Him I don't, no coach I'm, can exactly. get rid of him. Even Eric Ten Hag isn't doing. Uh, couldn't do anything to get that performance out. Yeah, he did try. But what Eric Ten Hag can do has done with players like Aaron Van Bissaka. I don't see Guardiola doing that as well. No, but like Guard- but Guardiola wouldn't go for a player like that. Exactly. But Tenak has that ability to raise a player's game. So he does. This is what he's trying to say. That's what, what, a, coach, I mean that's that's what a coach that's what, does. What, 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 uh, what, he's saying is, uh, what he's saying is, a manager like Pep Guardiola will only win titles from a particular set of players. Exactly. Who, who like you can give him, uh, say Bernardo Silva, Gundogan, who are already brilliant. With mm-hmm. everything they know. Mm-hmm. He will make them even better than what they are. In terms of over here in their head. The way they think. The way they go through the game. The way they but analyze the game. That's easier to do. It's, 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 it's easier easy. to Nothing do when is, you've got really good players. And momentum and a winning team. Winning everything. See obviously that is easier to do. Obviously that's the reason why he's winning titles. Exactly. That's the reason why he's winning titles. It's taking him seven not, years to get yeah, to this point. Yeah, that's course. my point. Let's give Tenar time. That is my point. Yeah, he needs time but he needs those players. Team. My yeah. point is he needs those players. He you, give him Fred, exactly. you give him McTominay and then you tell him expect him to play ball like Pep, uh, Pep City is not possible. Yeah. And I mean... Let's be real. Let's be real. No matter how good a coach... Ten Hag is, you can't just tell him, you know, give him time and expect him to create miracles nah. without backing him. Nah. 
you cannot give him a knife and tell him to go b- b- fire a, b- a gun fight a gun fight yeah, yeah, exactly but You're giving him a knife he's given us third yeah, and he's, he's, he's done that. He's done that. which is why for me he season. he he he's in the top 2 uh, coaches today in EPL he should uh, Pep Guardiola shouldn't have won the manager of the year i no, think no i don't think so either i, I think o'neil did a fabulous yeah. job i, they, I think there are, quite, uh, there, there are quite uh, there are a few control, this year the there are a few this year that could have probably that should have probably gotten that over pep guardiola yes he's won the premier league which um everybody expects him to because there is no squad that can compete with him um he's not won because he's done an out of the world managerial job that's no. not what i believe no i mean I think Jose Mourinho has done a way better job than Pep Guardiola has done this season Definitely. and at, at uh, Roma yes exactly yes. so i mean yes and in the premier league there, there are many are managers, many managers. Like like in the premier league, league we've got a huge list <laughs> yeah, of people list. that could probably be you know ahead of pep guardiola this season yeah with But the resources uh, that they've had the, the it's expected for him to win the title every season if he doesn't win a title every season that's a problem There is a there is there is something wrong that leads to our main topic of the yeah let's let's how do we how do we stop so, them yeah I mean uh, we can go on <laughs> and on when it comes to United and yeah. you know the ownership yeah. and all of this so I think it's time we head on to our main topic for today guys which is uh, keep or sell this is the big one right I got huge list so <laughs> huge number of lists <laughs> and is trust it? me it's been years. <laughs> So um <laughs> obviously it's, it's a big <laughs> one so we're going to have like the entire Manchester United squad down here and uh, probably that's we're going to go through them one by one and see whether whom we think should be kept whom should be sold whom should be loaned or whom should be released let's go let's go let's so go. let's get on with this all right guys so Let's begin with our goalkeepers. Okay. Butlin. Butlin's already gone, I guess. Butlin's gone, gone back home. So, yeah, he's he's exactly. irrelevant. 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 He's, he's just there to make the numbers. Make up Heaton numbers. is he's next. Heaton? Uh, does he have a year left no. in his no. contract? I think so. Heaton. I think If he does, I'd keep him as a third choice. I mean, yeah, he's a United choice. fan, yeah, United yeah, lad. So, like, keep. I would agree with that. I'd keep the We'd guy. keep Heaton. Yeah. Dean Henderson. He needs, he needs to get out. He needs to go. He's not at the he's, level he's, to challenge no. there also. Um, I I wouldn't argue on this yeah. either. There I have been comments from him from in the past exactly. that we, we, we need the money. I didn't appreciate that. Plus, honest. we need the money. We need I the would money. agree. Yeah, I no more loan for him. I think we should sell him. I think Absolutely. we should get like what twenty twenty million for him. Twenty twenty five mil we should be getting for Dean. Yeah, I mean twenty five would be good. I'd sell him for twenty yeah. five. Yeah, twenty right. also I'd sell him. Like we need money. Increase our budget a little bit. Here's the big one. The I mean the biggest one specifically after our last game, <laughs> David De Gea. I'd keep him. I'd keep him, but I'd, I I I know Ten Hag's definitely looking for a not a replacement, maybe in the long term. But I think we're going to get a keeper to keep that burner under De Gea's ass because he needs that fire. He needs competition. competition. So De Gea, we've seen his season. Like I know we've had this conversation before. He's had a phenomenal season. He's won the Golden Glove. But there are he has his no, I mean, moments. Yeah, hey, he's been with us now. He's been he's, with us for a long I time. I mean, if he's not a Manchester United keeper, um, he's had an excellent season. Yeah, is he's, is what I think, and is what would have happened. I think anybody else with the numbers De Gea had this year, um, would not get the amount of criticism he does. However. I completely understand uh, the sentiments of everybody who would who wants to let him go, who wants to sell him. He's been a no no offense. He's been a brilliant servant to the club. I personally would agree with you when I say that I would keep him for at least another year or so when when we get in a more younger goalkeeper, a, a more modern uh, goalkeeper that can you know. Uh, be his understudy push yeah. for competition and eventually in a year over a year's time you know we can let de gea go and that guy takes over that's what i would do like like i'll tell you like i'm i'm, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, david de gea of course uh, he's he's bailed like, us out a lot of times uh, like. he's been a legend of the club he is a legend of the club there is no yeah. doubt about that yeah. but the changed. games the games gone way ahead 
As we have, a top we have like about a budget of about say three hundred million, wherein yeah. we are addressing yeah. all our yeah. other important priorities. And then before, and then we go ahead and you know sell him and get a keeper. I'm all for it. I completely get the sentiment of you know why we need a modern keeper, why we need him, and why Ten Hag wants him. Because yeah. if you if you want to play today's game from the back, build from behind, like how all teams want to do, how Ten Hag wants to play possession football, you need a modern keeper. Yeah. But I don't see us uh, spending seventy million pound today for a keeper, and still be able to get all the other important yeah. priority signings that we need that are more pressing than a keeper right now. Let's hope Althani buys us so that he, 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 so that is that. Then, then we might go for him. That's crucial. Our transfer decisions would change based yeah, on the takeover. See, it yeah, have better clarity. Then. Like, like, let's put it this way: if Althani is buying us the club, then yes, I would uh, sell uh, David Ayer. Uh, and if I it's not I'd Althani, then I'd keep him. I'd keep him. So, I'd keep for him. now, we would keep him, yeah. given that the reports are right now way, leaning towards Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the Glazers staying. So for now, he stays. But as discussed, if we had the money, we would let him go for a more modern keeper. I had like a modern keeper. I need a keeper yeah. who can yeah. pass out from the back. Phil Jones has finally been already gone. So yeah, He's he, been, <laughs> is, is he going to get his testimonial or uh, is that that's not that's not all happening? Oh, oh come on, any... like like he's. <laughs> He's been at a club since years, and he's he's always tried hard. Uh, he's had the best job in the world. I mean, Phil Jones has been like. But a, he's earned he's a lot of a, money. Yeah, well. best job in the world. Yeah, yeah, he's earned a lot he's of money. He's been a fantastic Definitely. servant of the club, yeah. no doubt. Uh, but whenever he's, he's donned the red shirt, he's injury, put it yeah. back for him. But he's earned a lot he, of money. The injuries, the injuries. Yes, uh, exactly. They, but they, that I mean, career, can we honest. blame him? For can't. the money he's no, earned. No, no, we can't. can't. There's, there's or no. can or or is that again up to our owners? Yes, owners. exactly. We can't run blame him. Exactly. Why would you give the guy? Like, I would. I would. Exactly. Exactly. I would be in his place. I would have loved to do that. Exactly. Why? So Why? he's not done anything. Yeah, wrong. I mean. I nothing think he's been a good servant. He's personal. always put his heart out when he's put yeah. the shirt on. Yeah. He's just been unfortunate, yeah. and yeah. you know we all feel for him. And wish him all the best for all his future. Best, it man. summarizes our last decade. Phil Jones is the kind of signing that just I mean, Phil on, Jones yeah, on, on. Phil in the squad summarizes everything yeah. you yep, need to know. Yep. We, and I think I ho- I'm hoping it's over now. Yeah. Uh, no, over, I don't over. want to get it's back into that loop it's, again. It's over. It's over. Phil Jones is out. It's a very small photo. Okay, who's that? That looks like Ponzi. Axel, who's so? <laughs> what are we gonna do about uh? Axel Twanzi and there Timothy is, Fosu Mensah. There is, whatever, Fosu Mensah, he's been kind of like, has he been in the limelight? Like, I've not heard too much about it's, it's, Fosu Mensah. Like, it's it's a word. So if word. you want Manchester United to be at These the top. These guys are all out. You, you can't even is, have a discussion. Wanzeev is made of glass. Like, we just dump them in the cell. You can't like. even put them on loan. <laughs> you need to sell these guys. <laughs> I love to answer you know, yeah. like back in the day, but then he just and keeps get, keeps on getting all, injured. Didn't we all? There's Eric Bahi coming what about now, I believe. Got Ted and Maggie. Maggie, nah, not good enough. Not if he good was enough. good enough, he would have played. He would now. be here now. So, He's what do you think? Do. Would just um, would I you would, sell would, him? Would you loan him? I would, would you loan do? him uh, for one, one more season. year, one more season. one more season, preferably to a Premier League club. If yes. if they if, have if, him, if there is a possibility of starting, that, yeah, for starting, starting yeah. give him one year to. We, I think, yeah, put him under the loan. Yeah, man, so yeah. he goes to loan. Eric Bailly. Painful again. Absolutely, Salim. I think again, um, if not for injuries, this is another signing that could have been. An excellent signing could have been, but him uh, and uh, 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 his, his, his main no, no, his main and is his, uh, his uh, composure. You know the composure on the ball, his comfort uh, comfortability on the ball. You know, I feel he gets sucked out of position a lot. You know, his, his passing, turns, his passing, too much his passing, and, passing and, and all, good. it's not that good. And today, if you need, uh, like, like if you want a better team, you want a better goalkeeper than Daya. Why? Because uh, the comfort level with the ball at its feet. 
So obviously you need a center back also. Like Lisandro Martinez. Yes, Lisandro is. Rafael Varane is uh, Mar- comfortable on. Varane, Lisandro, Lisandro. You need. Uh, I think. You need players in, in modern, modern football. Football you today, you need player, every position to be, be able to play. You with. need players want, yeah, every yeah, position. If you want to and play like technical team. players, yeah. people who can. It doesn't matter whether you're a defender or yeah. a midfielder you or an attacker. You should be able to pass the ball properly. Exactly. And be comfortable when in position. Yep. Yeah. That's it's, what we expect from every player in the squad. Yeah, if yeah, because gone are the days where you could win a league where you had like four, no five, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, like four, five good players on the ball and two, three players and who are not, but they're hard player. workers, but yeah. they're running. No, yeah. that that doesn't cut out now. The games changed. Yeah. The games changed. The games got. We have pullbacks as yeah. kill pull as wingers these yeah. days, man. Um, you need that, right? I mean, this is what football is about today, right? It's it's possession gameplay. The extra. an additional person that can dribble or pass or move into that midfield that is what gives you that edge right that's what city does With even uh, constantly even, even they've got trend, these full backs in vo- playing as inverted trend, midfielders trend, trend, trend or inverted in wingers yeah. you look at john stone stepping into midfield you can't be doing that if you're not good on the ball or technically yeah. good so absolutely we need people that are technically good the basics they know they have the basics down and It's a shame that about more than seventy percent of a squad does not have it. <laughs> they're not. Yeah. They were no. They're nowhere close technically to not, not the likes of City. Yep. Yeah. Sad truth. Sad. Truth. But we, uh, as fans, like we, we have to. Alex Stelis. We've known this. We've yeah, known for a while. It's a long time. We've known for a while. So Alex Stelis. Tell him. Sell for good money. Yeah. Good money. Twenty mil. Twenty mil. I, I think we should be able to get about twenty for him now. Given he's he's had a good season as well. He's had a decent season. Yeah, he's one of your. Exactly. So he's had a decent season. Let's see. Hopefully, the whole point of getting him out on loan was to try and get a little more the next, the next transfer window. Here's another big one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
put City or their goalkeeper under pressure. We, we were struggling to put three passes together. Do it I was see. one pass, two, again, and then we lose the why? ball. Why? Why? Exactly. They were hounding us no, down. No, it's not about hound. In numbers. It's, it's just it's not. We had quality. one player at a time running. We don't it's have quality. the players who have the ability to break the press, come out of the press and release the ball. We oh, don't um, have players in in games like this. It's it's simple football. We a football De Jong. exactly. All Why does he want the Frankie De Jong since last season? With all the flair and all the brilliance in football. With all the brilliance and flair in modern football and the passing around and one touch and this and that. It's football is a very simple game. Specifically, when it comes to cup finals and such matches, it's all about who puts in more effort. If you as a team run and cover more distance than the other team, you are more likely to win than not. I we have players like Marcus Rashford who are apparently demanding about three hundred thousand pounds a week back salary. We come back to Marcus Rashford. We we let's do those things. Yeah, let's yeah let's let's so, come back to the Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire. Sell. Yeah, just sell, sell, obviously. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, Diego Dalot. So oh. he's just signed a contract. So just, I mean, just keep him like let, let's for a season discuss, more. For the season more, like it's not right back. Not priority right now because we've got a lot. Like obviously, of this is this is going I to be a bit, bit controversial because uh, uh, a lot of uh, United fans love uh, Dalo. And Van der Sar, for that matter of fact, who's who's apparently had a wonderful season. Definitely, yeah, they've had a very good he's season. He's improved a lot. Then what? But I I think uh, we need better. If I would agree. Uh, if I'm being honest, <laughs> and uh, contrary, we need better, uh, but this is this something like the see, De Gea situation, no. where we've got areas that we need to improve before. I know. I know. Contrary, I know. To, I know. this is probably something for next. Season. I know. To, to be no. like, contrary to the popular me. opinion, I honestly feel he that the right back is as priority as an attacker. Okay, let me ask you a simple question. Let me ask you all a simple question. Dalo and Van Bissaka, which top six club do they start for? None. None. Yeah. None. 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 They just uh, yeah. That's my point. They have better pullbacks than us. Forget Chelsea, having Chelsea, better pullbacks. Um, what has been our biggest Dallas concern Dallas this Liverpool. year? What, what has been Manchester concern? United's biggest Creating concern this process. year? Yeah. It's Creating about creating long, chances, breaking down opposition that sit low blocks with low blocks. See. And they've done attacking. a fabulous job to, for to get us here, where we we've come here. Get us into the top four. Get one title. But. To go to the next step, do you think that enough? Nah, 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 nah. We, we barely Dalo got through. We barely uh, got through this season um, because of Tenag. Exactly. So, He's the guy who got us to where we're at. So need, if, 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 if right now this is this is what we are doing. This is what our opinion is. Right now, what I would suggest is if if if, if there is a choice between Dalo and Van Bissaka, I would sell Dalo over Van Bissaka. Me too. Because I, I do that as well. A Van Bissaka is obviously homegrown player, a <laughs> uh, British yeah. player. Obviously, we, we need to fulfill that quota. Plus, he's better defensively. One, he's he's, uh, I think so. The best one-on-one -on -one defender when it comes to one-on-one -on -one challenges. Yeah, agree. So agree. obviously, we we won't be immediately going out and playing like City. We will have players who would char team that who would come on us. So at that point of time, I think also we need for that those. Games I think yeah, yeah, Bissaka. he's having Van Bissaka. But we need an upgrade on Dalo. Dalo who can go like a Frimpong maybe who can keep going up and down. We need crosses, a can, first Dalo's not the best going forward or defending. He's exactly. somewhere, he's somewhere in between. Exactly. Uh, so we need yes, somebody yes, like Frimpong. Yes, he's, he's Frimpong. Been better in terms of going crossing, in front. Dalo. Crossing is Dalo. Crossing. Dalo is yeah. no, no. His crossing is See, not good. It's better than Bissaka. Bissaka's movement. See, Dalo's movement. His link Bissaka up. Not the person you should compare yeah. him to. Dalo's over. movement is link up. Up top is better. Agreed. Yeah. But again, in terms of creating, Dalo does nothing, nothing. different than Van Bissaka. Mm -hmm. None of them can cross. Um, Luke Shaw has better crossing stats than Dalo and Van Bissaka combined, and Luke Shaw's crossing stats are nowhere close to what a full the top fullbacks in the world right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, Luke Shaw's been good as well. We have no, no one doubt. in the box so, to cross the exactly. two. That is the first problem. Again, that, maybe that's the reason. That's why my point. The no, team, but, that's but my we, have, we don't have the quality to cross. We had Cristiano no. Ronaldo. We had uh, yeah, exactly. Edison Cavani. We had Edison Cavani. We had Cristiano Ronaldo. Season. But we had Ronaldo for a player. Cup. They, they were there in the last season. And I mean, well, you can go uh, buy Harry Kane, but what are you going to do buying Harry Kane if there's nobody to put the ball inside the box? He's going to be the guy creating the play. That's what's going to happen to him. Again, he's going to create the point. 
That is my point. We need more players, man. We need more players. But it, but is two hundred million enough to get all the no. players in one season? No, exactly. Exactly. So we, we need to do no. what Chelsea did last season. Can we do it? That's a question. Yeah. Again, if um, uh, Thani does come, then yes. But but even but then, again, I think there's going to be financial fair play and all. We're going to be. Restricted to a you certain know, I degree. I told you, uh, irrespective degree. of the FFP, uh, like I said, we will still have over t- about over north of two hundred million pounds. Now, how much north depends obviously on our outgoings as well. Yeah, and yeah. also depends on the owner situation because there will be certain decisions which will be taken by Altani, which will be easier. Whereas, wherein we might let go of players even under losses, and he'll be okay with that because we don't have debt. Yeah, anymore, it's and they won't clearing. hold out to these. Yeah. You know, uh, players yeah. for showing them in books and stuff like that. So obviously, how much north of two hundred definitely depends on whom we sell and our owners as well. Yeah. So, so you know, Abhishek Bharti is saying, "Keep Deha, you guys need him." Coming from a Chelsea fan, <laughs> yeah, like, we coming from a Chelsea fan, we should yeah. definitely be. <laughs> he can ask him if he can have Maguire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, can totally have. Can we can we swap Maguire. between the the Kulibali and? Uh, You know Maguire, maybe I mean, uh, for for Hana actually. Oh, Mount. I would swap Maguire plus twenty mil. For I would take Thiago Silva, dude. At this point, <laughs> over <laughs> Maguire, <laughs> man. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I I heard Ramos is a free agent, man. Go bring him, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, we can have Ramos and Varane playing as squad rotation, you know, and you know, using both of them, and we've got Lisandro on the left, who's excellent, and Lindelof's done, I think, a fan. Fantastic job yeah, as a uh, fullback coming in, always being steady, doing a wonderful job for us. Mm-hmm. So um, moving on, like for Dallo, as we right now, we now. would actually prefer selling him. Yeah. That's yeah. our opinion, yeah. personal. But However, so since he's already signed, he's signed, he's staying, so he yeah. goes to keep. Uh, same Van Bissaka, we keep all would like now. to keep him, yeah. obviously. Uh, his defensive prowess is an excellent asset to have in your squad. Yes, so yes, yes. I in tight games, in tight games, yes. when when there's exactly. a when there's a Mitoma or some or a tricky winger, when you play, I am confident with Bissaka. Absolutely, absolutely. He defends absolutely. there with that final tackle, games even when like, he's in the uh, box. When you're playing somebody right. like you know, um, you're coming up against players like one of the best wingers in the world. You have played games like if you go to Champions League and face yeah, Real Madrid, 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 Vinicius Junior, Vinicius no? Junior. Yeah, he so. He, He's pocketed a lot. Exactly of my things. point. So, um, for games like that, I would definitely his pro uh, his defensive prowess would be a big Basically asset. In the future, so. Dalo would preferably be the first one to go. Exactly, yeah. I would rather have somebody who can create up front as well. So, Let's see. and uh, definitely somebody who can cross, cross the ball. The cross ball. The ball. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think that's the first ball. thing I would look we for. We need a right someone back. who can cross the ball, and we need someone who can finish. Exactly, uh, Malaysia. We keep him. Keep him long he's term. Been, he's been. He's been. I, I don't think but there's a doubt in that. This guy. He he has uh, he has a lot of raw. He's, he's still raw. raw. He's, he's very young. He's raw. Yeah. He's done a fab job. He's got massive season. potential. Yeah. yeah. He's got the hunger I see in him. He's got that aggression. Build more composure is what he needs. Absolutely. There have been times where his touches. Have one thing is clear with Tenak signings. We see one thing clear is the player attitude have, and the player mentality. The character. We Science, we know exactly the sort of characters he's like the he's, he's, the he's Martinez said, the Malaya the Antonis. Uh, yeah. You know, the players should not only be good in terms of quality but also in terms of mentality I mean, and. Uh, Roy Keane would be an absolute favorite of Ten Hag. Yeah. I mean, players yeah, like Keane definitely. or Rooney or Vidic. I mean, these guys would like. And to be honest, who uh, they would be favorite of any other manager. Exactly, that's it's, the kind of players. That's the character you want as the characters you want to coach, and that's what we want to get. Uh, back in our team, the players like and that. Luke Shaw. Keep, 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 keep. We need this guy again. Um, I know there's a lot of criticism, but I like. No, I, I, I don't. I really so. like the guy. In fact, in fact, there is play very less at the back with this. No, in fact, very, uh, less, very criticism. less criticism. Again, in Luke Shaw has a lot of English Shaw. bias. Now he has he's had a good season. Bias. Um, again, not yeah. undermining it. He's had a good season, he's had no a good doubt. Season. But. But as a left back, his defensive position is very bad. But I think I think he's way better or come playing as a left centre back. back than a left yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, honestly, because um going up front, I don't see Luke Shaw is one of those guys that 
likes to press uh, come behind after going forward he's always lazy coming behind there's something off about it it's either the it's it's maybe the work ethic or it's just something about him a very unpopular you know, that, that opinion by really, the way in terms of <laughs> i know it's, it's, it's a controversial so, opinion but very, there is something that's a bit missing you know with his game it's his, even when you see him closing it's down it's when fitness, it crosses it's his fitness i don't think he's so been in and out a lot even this season no, he's been in and out and he's been trying to get him back i don't think he was like I mean, I mean, there is something no, about there him is something. that it's like. I mean, it, it can't be fitness because when he's just freshly starting a game, say the first game of the season, that it can't be fitness. And you're starting a game, and you know you've got this winger coming who's who's got all the space in the world to put across, and Luke Shaw has all the time in the world to close that man down. But Luke Shaw will never close a man down. He always. His positioning is so odd, wherein he's he's in the middle. He's not far enough to either block the cross. He's not close enough to put pressure to stop the player. Always he's always he somewhere in the yeah, middle. I agree. I agree. He's, he's somewhere. He's, he's in the middle where it's so easy like, for yeah. the winger to just go around him or just put a ball in know. or just cut behind, because. His positioning is I've, just I've, weird. I've, I've rarely seen, seen this with Bisaka as well. Yeah, Man Bisaka, because they're bad. He's always he, he, he with Ben Bisaka. It's his but excellent tackling, tackling yeah. skill that his yeah. tenacity oh, the shadows is what, that kind of. His tenacity covers that. Because even though his positioning is off, he somehow reaches there. Only he but is Luke able to do Shaw it. Doesn't reach there. But Luke Shaw does not. Yeah. He doesn't have that. He doesn't. Yeah. In f- which is why he looks way better as a left centre back. You yeah. see him playing as a left back. His positioning is always more like a left centre back, even when he's playing as a left back. He always comes in closest to close to his centre back, and I don't know. He just loves to play yeah. right so I, down I, the alley like, of a left centre back. So like obviously he has improved a lot, though. He has, he, he, but he's he, not. Yeah, like, he, I, like I, I, for he, now, we have to keep I him. I told like, you, like the he's many got a great. Player, many he, players he's, he's had a good season, but there's something missing. If if he can find that, yeah. if Tenag can maybe unlock that and you know uh, solve that, I think Luke Shaw has the potential to be the best left back. Left Football has ever seen. Left centre yeah. back. Left back. Left I back. don't think so. It's too if, late for him to be. I will tell if, the best. Time will tell. Around if that can be fixed. I will. But again, for now, but I would we keep would him keep him obviously yeah. because he is someone who. This is one of the better players. Back. He's one of the better he, players. He, he exactly. Left centre so, back. Exactly. Well. Uh, we would definitely keep he's him useful. this season. But I hope that you know he can find a way around that issue. Maybe the next season. Yeah, probably. I'm sure Tenag is probably working on coaching. Lindelof. I would keep him. I think we would all agree. From model professional, the guy. Model professional, yeah. always uh, steady, does a fantastic been, job. Yeah. Massively underrated. Yeah. Massively underrated. Uh, obviously, no banter, he's, he's not no bullshit. He's not good enough to be your uh, starting eleven in a top club like Manchester United. Obviously, you need someone like Lisandro. But Martins. I like having having but having bench, him as a bench player yeah. right now because you cannot have yeah. complete yeah. a rotational squad player. Yeah. Yeah. Ideal. Yeah. Ideal. Yeah. We keep uh, like as long as he's be, happy doing that. Like I'd love Martin is. I think goes straight straight without. That's not even a question. No. Question. Um. He's a he's, gem. He's he's gem. Yo, he's a butcher. Gem. He's a, gem he's a fighter. He's he's his, sort of his long range passing, his composure, everything. Everything. We, we Dude, I mean, since his injury, we we missed him. A we lot. not just missed him in defense. I mean, we missed him in midfield. Even I even mean, it's, it's a funny our attacks. Yes. It's a funny statement. Yes. But we missed him more in midfield than we did in defense. He sets up the play. He starts. He starts. He starts the play. He's the first. He's the guy who added foot. That can yeah. take the ball from deep and and his composure on the ball. He can completely. He can link decision with the midfield. Making, decision making he on the ball. There, there the can midfield. be people pressing him. Two people pressing him, but he'll find a way to come out of it and release He's the ball. Cool as a cucumber. Uh, to one of our players. Yeah. Yeah. And it, oh, like the our, passion, our the heart yeah. when he puts on that shirt. Oh. He loves. Out he loves the club. Of he's the he's someone world. who knows what what it is to uh, put on this shirt. You know? We need three more of him. Three more. Point. We need eleven. Three, three. We need eleven of this guy. Three, this need, this transfer need, window. Yeah. We need three guys like him. Yeah. In their own, on their in their own position. Tell that to Jamie Carragher, bro. Antony. <laughs> <laughs> But the hats off to him. He's come yeah. out and apologized, and he said it. That no, I mean uh, that's that's it. one of the rare, uh, uh, you know, mainstream pundits and uh, these ex players that I've seen who who at least that he do not come out it. and admit that you know, yeah, you got it wrong. I mean, come on, yeah. none of us are like magicians here, and you know, I would like people to come out and call. It's okay. You can make you know you can you can have an opinion. It can be wrong, but I mean, there's nothing wrong in just coming out and saying right. Yeah, yeah, you got it wrong. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm sure uh, we've got opinions, and there's there's gonna be a lot of things that we might get wrong. Yeah. But I hope that whatever we you know get wrong at the end of the day, as long as that's betterment for the club, it's okay. I mean, I'm okay. Yeah. We're okay to admit that you know we got it wrong. Yeah. So, 
Rafa Waran again, another nah, one that I don't he, think he, <laughs> we and need. And keep him till his legs work, man. Absolutely. But we, we, yeah, we need. Uh, we need somebody. Share his doubt sometimes. Like Kim Min Jae. Uh, obviously, obviously. Yeah, Kim Min Jae is someone oh, who excites me. I mean, me also. an uh, ideal. Kim Min Jae is a no-brainer. Is a no-brainer. He, that's a no-brainer. no-brainer. I mean, with his release clause as well, and July with him, we should be going to him. Yeah. With him wanting apparently United are, as apparently well. Apparently, they are even Newcastle. Are. There are two clubs I mean, who are so actively with Kim J- Jae. With, with I think, um, uh, according to the reports, you know, with Kim Min Jae, with Hoyland, with Mount, um, according to the latest reports, we things should not be an issue as long as United can deal with the club. But we all know it's the price. We all know at the end, as long as we negotiate, we end up again. I think that's another uh, you know issue with that is going to only get resolved with the. Ownership we'll saga. Also, those we'll are see. painful. They they've been painful for us the past. I mean, <laughs> if, as a United <laughs> fan, it's not five or anything. I think it's been a pain since uh, the last few years of Sir Alex Ferguson. I think I think it's not sta- even after him. I mean, it started the last one or two years of Ferguson's Before era. The, yeah, since the time. Fellaini was probably the the tipping point for me. I think it's, it's Fellaini it's that season. Yes, and, and I mean, surprisingly, Fellaini was, turned out to be a. Or not better a signing guy, yeah. than any of us actually expected at the start. He, he gave everything for this club. I mean, trust yeah, me, uh, like, I uh, would rather. Otherwise, uh, obviously, you uh, don't. You want better players. Fellaini is a, a marquee signing. Fellaini is a bit more retired. like a Vegas, isn't it? Wherein you know the man gave he is absolutely better than Vegas, everything. I agree, I agree. Oh. In, when I say like Vegas, I say in terms yeah. of a signing, like a man who has the heart, the passion, who's yeah. given yeah. absolutely yeah. everything for the club when he put that shirt on, mm-hmm. just did not have the quality yeah. for, to be performing at the level. So, well, moving on. Is, is that Ghana? Brandon Ghana's, Williams. Oh, that's Brandon Williams. Yeah. Brandon Williams. So, what do we do with Williams? Sam, Sam, simple, sir. Not even loan, sir. He's uh, yeah, the guy. I get, think he's not I even would a squad agree. Five million, uh, three so. million, whatever we get. For uh, yeah, because we can't even get him. Uh, you know, right now in our is, squads or in, on the bench it's as well. Happening. And I um, mean, I don't see how he can get Brandon ahead of Williams. any of he, even Malaysia. He's the kind of player who can play for a relegation uh, battling club. Yeah, um. Yeah, he, maybe. He, that's yeah, just great. He's no he's championship. Championship. No, or, no, no, yeah. no, 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 I don't, no, I don't see him at least. Not the, not top six for nah, sure. Nah, 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 top nah, 10. Nah, nah, not, nah, I mean, in today's day, not, not even top, top 10. Top exactly. Yeah. He's, not, he's not a top half caliber player. And. Fernandez. Uh, we him. should loan him. Keep him. Keep him. We should loan him. One no, no, we, we need to loan him. Oh, wait, which Fernandez? Fernandez, uh, yeah. the, the fullback. The, the fullback Fernandez. Oh, we need to we loan him. We need to loan him. So, and we need to loan yeah. him to a Premier League club this season, yeah. I think. If, uh, get, um, if, if, if there's some Premier League we club. We need game time also. We need the guy to have game time. We got yeah, so we need to find out. a club, we, that, you know, really need club to. like a uh, championship club that's being promoted, like a Burnley or. Uh, you know those kind of clubs. I'm sure he he will start. Um, he will start. Yeah, he's, he's we, we need prospect. to do better Talk with our you know these young we, prospects and uh, Ethan Laird. We no can't talks about the guy. We can't end up doing what we've been doing with these players, Elanga and Laird, and all so far. Like we need to do better. I yeah. mean, obviously it's improved massively since Tenak yeah. came. I I don't remember our players going to loans and having such great seasons before Ten Hag. So I mean, just look at Ahmad and Pellestri before Ten Hag did come. Pellestri. What did we do? We we signed these Born guys and they've just been hanging around without any proper development until Ten Hag came. Correct. So we need to do better. Definitely, Looking we need to find Ahmad better clubs, yeah. strike deals, and get them better loans for sure. And Pellestri. For a good team, you need to have a good right and left Absolutely right, Indrajit. Yeah. Uh, as Indrajit uh, was commented that for a good, good team you need to have a good right and left back absolutely right but right now <laughs> as, as we, we already mean, spoke that uh, right now we don't have the budget yeah yeah uh, for like, modern football I would agree with Indrajit too we right, definitely yeah. cannot like I said contrary to the uh, opinion popular opinion I think a right back is He's as priority yeah. for us yeah. as a striker because I don't think we you can get a striker and have him just start scoring goals yeah. if you don't have anybody delivering to him. Yeah. And we need crosses coming in. We need, in. We need, uh, we're, the, we're, the, we're a side that has the lowest number of stats from dead balls. Yeah. We don't score from dead balls. We don't score from crosses. We don't score from corners. We don't score from set pieces. We are absolutely terrible. And it comes down to simple one fact. Ball delivery quality. Yeah, we don't have Same. that. We don't have no. We don't have that from the fullbacks. Exactly. We don't have that from the wingers. 
uh, we probably have uh, one which from is Bruno point. Fernandes. Which is my point. Which is you're Erickson. not going to have Andy Erickson, 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 but Erickson is not now, playing that yes, position yes. to be doing. See, we that's what I'm saying. Which is why I think a right back was a priority it as is, much as a striker. Is because Anthony is not going to do it. Anthony is not going to do it. Anthony needs a right back. He needs he, a right. He, he needs, needs a kind of have an overlap and then cross the ball. Exactly. He needs somebody like a primpom that can keep making those overlapping runs, giving Anthony that added player whom he can use to cut inside. We need That's a left back, a left back who's as good as Andrew Robertson, you know, for we Liverpool. Trippier, we do. Trippier would have been back. Trippier for, for right back. Yeah, yeah. He's old, but those kind of players. Our budget happen. and currently, yeah. obviously, we're we we limited to, yeah. because of our sale and the budget. Sale, yeah. So there's not much we can do right now. But I would definitely, definitely. agree with uh, Indrajit Indra there. Yeah. That's a very good point yeah. made. Maguire out, yeah. Maguire is already out. Devish, like we already said that he's. I mean, I think, yeah. Again. Uh, other than Glazers out, I think that's another topic. The whole Man United fan base is united yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Shrey Singh <laughs> and can Fred. We, we come to Fred. Yeah, yeah we, we haven't come reached to, we uh, haven't Fred yet. yet. So, so let's, let's the move next is, I think, Pellistri. Loan him to a Premier League club. Top 10. Or bo- even bottom 10. Uh, okay, now I'll, I have a I very love keeping him. No, no, no. no, no the, the reason is, he understand, we don't have attackers. Exactly. We, we, we don't have attackers. We, like... Uh, I would see coming back on. Uh, yeah. We will see him pre season. I think Amad I would see Pellistri's pre season. Again, Amad also, we have to take him to pre season to no. understand what how, how good he is. Again, I think Tenag already said he wants him back next year. So Again, we'll, we'll discuss Amad pre-season. when we get to him. So I think For Pellistri now, right uh, now, I Pellistri. would keep him, keep him, not put him on loan. Uh, I would I would see him on the pre season, what's, what's happening with the other wingers and how many attackers we are getting in. I would keep Pellistri as well uh, for now. I would for at now, least yeah. see him at in pre season, yeah. see uh, you know what it feels like. Uh, the pre- Have this pre season under Ten Hag, um, see the development, yeah. and by the end of the pre season, see where he is at, and, and then on, take a call whether on, send on him to loan pre-season. or continue we decide what as to, the first so team. For me, as much as I'd love keeping him, and I'm okay with keeping the guy. I don't want to get in the way of his development and I, to be honest, out of all Again, the youth we see, have, which is why he's, ready. Bought him he's physically ready, yeah, he, this guy is which is why ready, we, he needs the chance is, to play, yeah. I agree he with needs you. to be playing week in, week out at this stage. I agree with you, which is why I said we'd first see him in the preseason. The pre-season. If we think that he is, see, Ten Hag is not a kind of manager that will give youth players a chance just to give a youth player a chance. Ten Hag is very clear, whether you are youth, whether you are whoever you are. You play in my squad if you are good enough to play in my squad. If you have the quality. Garnacho plays because Garnacho has the quality to play in this first 11. Not because he's a youth player who's exciting and could develop. That's how Ten Hag is. So the fact that Pellistri is on the bench with Ten Hag says that he's probably close. Yeah. Maybe not right there where Ten Hag wants to put him right now in such games where, you know, we're not up to the mark and just throw him to the sharks out there. The reason why he's not put them even though we, we like he doesn't want to throw him to the sharks. He doesn't want to because he still thinks that there is something that needs to be developed. Exactly. So maybe a preseason so, yeah. would ten, give Ten Hag also a bit more clarity Probably. as to what is hap- to do, what to do with Pellistri. Uh, so again, if the manager thinks that he should continue with keeping him in our first co- team squad, I'm up for it. And I like uh, and Ten Hag as a manager because he's clearly said it. It doesn't matter whether you're a youth or you're no, not a youth. If you're good enough, you're good enough you will get a you, chance. Exactly. You you have to show it to me that you're good enough. And, and I think that's how, be. that's how yeah, it should be. And I think that's exactly how it should be. Yes. So, so let's, keep let's, him, uh, let's keep, keep him, him for, for now. For time being. Uh, I've, we've got uh, Indrajit saying that you just can't spend blindly on expensive good players. You need to find some... Good and not yeah, some hidden talent. gems. Yes, we, yes, need, we need a hidden right. gem right back. Like that Again. would be a, a miracle now, if that would happen. See, yeah. this is this is some this is the this is what happens when your club is so poorly managed for such a long time. Now, I understand that we need these signings that are like you know these findings that are these cheap signings that you know you can take a gamble on and maybe you know be potential. You can do that if you have a first eleven. That's already ready to play yeah. right now. Yeah, right now we, we need first 11. Yeah, we need first 11. You can't players. keep bringing players with potential that might do good in the Premier League when might you don't not. have a you first have 11 that can compete today. You need players like Casemiro coming on in right now. On top of that, with our current scenario. On top of that, with our current scenario. With our home situation with the homegrown players that we have yeah. currently. What are you going to do about that? How do you get homegrown players, English players for cheap? 
you don't with their prices you don't, blown you don't, out you of don't. proportion amount <laughs> one year left on exactly my point million. so now if you have to go and spend say about um, they want 80 but say we strike a deal for 60 for mount you strike a deal for 100 for kane which is again unlikely so even if you do that you spent 160 million on two players now you still need at least four more signings this year yeah, you and you probably have what left 50 to 80 more million for four more players so there's that's more, my point more. we will have outgoing we'll have 250 we'll have 250 we'll have 250 yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll 250 250 280 less compared which is to why i think that you know um, right now our priority is to get yeah, players every transfer every year every, every year, year we need more come and we come up with 200 million 300 million yeah, every year we, we are always short yeah, always that needs to stop Well, and that will stop. stop see that's going to take time how will that stop we need like a long term plan where in <clears throat> right now our signings have to be prioritized for players who are going to play now in our first 11 yeah, we need now you get first that 11. first you get your first 11 then you take that to january in january you get about two or three odd signings that are competition for your first 11 start strengthening that depth that squad and then the next summer you get these signings that you're talking about wherein you talk about these prospects who can improve come under because now you have a first 11 you have about five or six players that can compete with that first 11 and get in on as substitutes that can impact your game as good as your first 11 players yeah. then now next summer you go buy these prospects whom you develop over that one one and a half year yeah. this is what pep guardiola did right He and had, now you so have good squad depth. In, in his first season, he had fourteen, fifteen top players in his mm-hmm. squad. That's the reason why he got seven players in his first season. Yeah, and that is after have, having top players already. Already having top players in the squad. So this is what we uh, already have a lot of prospects. I mean, with every other player that you see, the potential is developing. Rashford For some reason, Rashford is still a prospect <laughs> and still a potential. Yeah. So Marshall, how many? I I Masha, hope Masha 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 Masha
And, and I don't even want him as him. well. Again, preseason will tell us more. But I think another year in alone in Premier League would do him really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be ideal. I mean, honest, but I think to be honest, I honestly feel that you know, I mean, any youth player, unless he turns out to be somebody exceptional, like how Ganacho just burst into the scene. Yeah. If it's somebody like that, I think anybody else in a youth setup should have at least one year's loan in a Premier League club. Even David Beckham had. Before you come yeah, into the squad, because yeah, no matter how good you play in the championship, championship Premier League champion. is a very different ball game. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. And I okay, we now we've got Donny Van de Beek. Van de Beek. It's time uh, to end this. Put him right next to Maguire. Yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah. not even yeah. discuss it. Yeah. Put him, him next to Maguire. Yeah. Just say. I, I mean, this is uh, another a signing that really. Pains me yeah. in a way like I really better, wanted to him to do good, but I don't there, think so. Like, uh, didn't work out. Just English didn't work out. There are some injuries. Like maybe English. didn't. The man who coached him at Ajax couldn't play him. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, that that speaks volumes. Injuries and and I think with Van de Beek, like you know, he said, uh, I think Premier League is a bit too much for him. Looks like it. That's how it that, looked that, like. That's, that's the only thing I. Obviously, can injuries and, had their part to play, but yeah. it's sad. But again, farmer. we need to think about. <laughs> You know, we need to think what's I, I would have loved club. for him to work. I really love the guy. I would. Man. He's a very intelligent football ethic, player. Good work ethic, good guy, I guess. But, but now it's too late. Yeah, now too I late. We don't have the. Yeah, again, we yes, need to be ruthless. Yeah. We just can't keep doing this. Yeah. And we, at some point, need to start selling players when we can sell them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Rather than hold them longer for you know an added extra season when we shouldn't, and then realize that now no one wants them and we're stuck with them again. Yeah. So. Scott McTominay. I would sell him. He's not a Manchester United player. I'd, uh, I'd swap him for Declan Rice. I mean, yeah, if if we could get a good deal off. Take your pick for West Ham. Oh. I'd swap him. <laughs> I'd swap him for Declan so, Rice. West Ham, bro. I mean. Take your pick. Take Harry Maguire, take Dean Henderson, take uh, Scott McTominay, take whomever you want. (laughs) I'd swap him for Caicedo maybe. I don't know. I I would love to have Caicedo. Caicedo looks really good. He can cross a ball. I mean, to be honest, um, rather than a mount, I would rather have somebody like yes. a Caicedo because um, I'm shocked we I'm surprised absolutely need somebody who can play next to Casemiro, progress with the ball and, um, you know, take that ball in these half turns between channels and be able to create things out of nothing. We need that ball carrier yeah. who can play next to Casemiro and maybe even do a job for Casemiro, if he gets injured or if he's Casemiro suspended or anything, or if he's bombing forward, then we he's need overrun. Yeah. He's overrun. He's overrun. Right midfield. now, Casemiro looked tired. That's one man doing the job of three midfielders. Yeah. In terms of defensive yeah. attributes, we have no defend, uh, no midfielder other than Fred that puts in a tackle. It's only Casemiro. Fred so again, that's a relevant. That is, that's that that's a cool. separate, you know, conversation. But my point <laughs> he tries, is, he tries hard. He tries, he tries hard. He tries hard. But he my my guy. point is, but Fred not good enough. Maybe misses tackles, yeah. but or he tries or whatever. But if Fred's not playing in that midfield, there is nobody who's even putting a tackle in, hmm. other than Casemiro. There's one guy who's running all across the pitch, doing all defensive duties of every midfielder and our attackers because they don't want to fall back. You need other than Anthony, we have no winger who knows what defensive duties are. Yeah. We have no attacker yeah. who knows what defensive duties are. Yeah. And people used to blame Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know why. That he doesn't press his... I don't see I, Rashford I, ever I, press. I have never seen... We, we come to Rashford, Rashford and, and all of these guys. Rashford was not just the pressing. I think he was... No, there was there a lot of... Be, there, there were the, all the media people. No, I mean, there was a lot of, of that. The but that Tenard didn't want and as a manager... I that's guess. different. But yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to, next is the Marcel Sabitza. I don't think so. Sabitza is I think he's any which way has been, uh, he's you know, going. going. He's he's going. going. And so, I don't think so. We should buy him back. Nah. Uh, no, I mean, I think the club's already like made the a statement. Again, but nah. he's the, the yeah. yeah, the club's already made a statement in terms of Sabitzer yeah. and Vegas that we're going to be letting both of them go and not. 
I don't think so. An official statement has come. They, they, come they were they were stopgap signings, man. Like they, yeah. they, yeah. they, yeah. they, they yeah. was standing. And then uh, Sabitzer has not done enough to. Uh, yeah, he's been injured. He's been injured a lot. Like, was there injuries? Knee injury. We should have been by twenty five. Good player. Good. Good, uh, for 25 things could have been better sir, with Sabit sir I think if he wasn't as See, injured looking at someone like Mount Tanakh probably you know leaning towards someone like Mount over Sabit See, sir if, we, if we want to sign a, if we want to sign a central midfielder it can't be Sabit sir <coughs> that's my point Yeah. if we sign Sabit sir as just a replacement for somebody like Fred and uh, McTominay going out I can understand that yeah. but that's not <laughs> the case right we're, we're probably going to sign just one or maybe two yeah. midfielders so I can't. I don't. I don't see Sabit sir as the, in yeah, there. I don't see Sabit sir. Fred, sell him. Grenadine Fredan. He's not again. <laughs> he's not even a squad player. Uh, yes, for some some games, uh, you know, not even games. Like one half, Fred will play such a p- p- game that you will be like, oh, what a midfielder he is. But one you half, never know what you're getting with Fred. I yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, like you don't know what you're getting with him. It's, 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 like you know, it's like that lottery gamble yeah. where he's just not. You don't know what you're going to get. Fred is going to yeah, come. Yeah, you don't know which just, version you're going to get. Today. You know, I've got uh, this uh, to all those people who would be saying that I would keep uh, Fred. You know, Pep Guardiola wanted Fred, but had Pep Guardiola got gotten Fred. He would have he would, been, he would have been sold the next season. Yeah, he would have. He would have already been gone. He wouldn't have spent this long. This, this long club. at City for sure, uh, because uh, we we need to. Rip, the problem is we don't have too many people in midfield. Yes, yeah, so we need to I buy mean, them. We this is we are doing. A, how 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 many players are we going to buy? We, we sell these players, and we're going to need some better. hidden gems. Then we're going to take a risk. Yeah, we uh, will have to. So uh, we will take a risk in the market. I I have I I have. I saw a tweet today, uh, which I interacted with, wherein uh, I think it was uh, the United Stand, where uh, the tweet was about all Manchester United positions for next year. Which positions would you strengthen at? And um, my reply to that was, if you want to improve on your current season, what you've achieved this year, um, a cup, another cup final, third. If you want to progress and do better than this season, I think the least that we need is a left winger, a striker, two midfielders. I think we need two, two central midfielders, a right back, a centre back, and a goalkeeper. And a goalkeeper. <laughs> so <laughs> we need sadly. at least seven people that it's is a, without a, a striker to just improve. It is a fact. Because what we have to understand is. So going next season, yeah. it's not just Manchester United that's going to strengthen yeah. their squad and improve. That's the story every season. Exactly. That's so, happen season according season. to me, we need seven players to just progress and improve. If you're talking about uh, competing with the likes of City next season, I think we need to throw in a striker there, throw in another left back there, and maybe throw in uh, another maybe right winger that can compete with Anthony. I think I think Amar's role is going to be that next season. Denmark's probably going to get him. If to you're talking about Anthony. competing with City, I'm talking about players that See, can play let's now, forget not about prospects. What okay. do you think Eric Ten Hag is going to do? What yeah. their option? I'm I talking about the realistically. Want to, this is what's going to happen. This is this is what, this what, is I'm, what I'm telling you. We need to compete with City. City. If you want to compete what is your with City, if you it's it's getting into top four. So, ideally, a challenging for the challenging for the title should That's, be our target. That should be year. the target. So, for chances that, are it may take us two years, and we we're all aware exactly. of that. Exactly, which is why take us two years. This which is, is why time. I think we need to if at least that is progress. Two years, if only we get six players at least this summer. Exactly. That's that's only and when that we is can why in the next and few years. This is precisely why <laughs> if I said get, that we'd rather keep David De Gea. Because when you already need to sign six players, yeah, where do you get 70 to... mil for a seventh? Yeah. Like if you want United to be challenging for titles in the next two years, if that's your target, yeah, we you need... need at least six players, top quality players right now this summer. And if we you need get a minimum one, one, players. one player less, that's, that's easily taking us one to two years behind challenging for titles. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at what City Arsenal could do. Goal, a fourth, look at what season. Arsenal could do. Just see what Arsenal could do against City with a squad which is better than us, much more rested than us. They were not in any other competition, just focused on the Only Premier League. Europa League, League t- t- up till a point. 
they were nowhere close they in any other competition in they, they had they were almost the least in, amount yeah. of games played the most amount of rest yeah. and they still, they were not there. how far did they finish from city in terms of points yeah and they are they are already miles, a better miles, squad miles, than miles, us right miles, now they are already better squad than miles, us miles, miles, so miles. if you're talking about competing with city just think what you need to what do need to i do. think um by the next summer by the end of next summer from now till the end of next summer not this next summer mm. we need to have at least 10 to 11 incomings only then can we compete with city and when i say incomings i am talking about good quality incomings that ten hag wants that a manager wants not what our mm. bankers want up there <laughs> yeah, it's 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 important for ten hag to get his he uh, needs to get number one director uh, to like a options yeah he needs know? to and he cannot go for uh, mind you, know, you the magic that ten hag option c yeah. option d and currently Because the magic is the not at united that's been happening for a decade Dude, yeah, yeah at yeah, united it's happened happening even lot, this year you know? even yeah. this year even this year the magic ten hag has done is with all option b's and c's the only option a he's they got is antony casemiro yeah they have casemiro uh, all option b and then lisandro all, all, all option b all option b's except for antony was also not his option a it was timber timber was timber, I timber was at the the yeah. fa cup final yeah, he was at so that's my point you never know i hope you need to give your manager his first options yeah. mm. you need to get those players signed jose mourinho didn't want fred he was giving and fred. and you need to sign them early and you need to send them on pre season with ten hag this squad does not know how to create chances for a striker nope. and if you are telling me that you're going to go spend 100 million pounds and buy a striker and not send him pre season and expect the squad to just miraculously come on the first day and, and be able to start delivering to that striker not happening because mind you manchester city which is right now according to mainstream media the best squad the history of football has seen could not adjust to haland immediately either mm. yeah yeah fair point yeah it's a fair point haland's game was he's he, they 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 good now they, they need uh, adjusted their game yeah, if you want to see brilliantly it, when when alvarez is playing and haland is not playing city play even better football yeah they do they do alvarez is really unlucky on his part he's I mean, unlucky uh, competition you call haland it unlucky, unlucky or you call it something that he is from guardiola he's got a top striker like, on the bench to throw on whenever I mean, he wants and really, i think he should have that alvarez will yeah. go right into the first 11 of, of all top 6 clubs across yeah. all six leagues in europe yep not in just english play. england All top six clubs in Europe, he would straight go into the first eleven. And, and he's not even paid. Blocks. He's not paid ten percent of City's of games, City's and he's scored nineteen goals. 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 Yeah. That tells you everything. Phenomenon. It's it's it's. it's and that's the that's, that's, that's a guy. Is that's a guy. Ten percent of games. The South American striker City have stolen from us under our noses. We lost it. No, we're the Aguero, Tevez. It's just that they are stolen, man. It's not stolen. Like Aguero, they, they were ambitious. They're too slow. You think Aguero would have gone to City? If we thrown that money at that point, at that point, point of time, he would have come to us. Exactly. He messed up. He But messed we, up. we, we never throw money. We didn't pay. We never give money when we it's needed. We could see it coming miles away. Because yeah. we don't give money when it's required. Mm. In. Uh, yeah, we don't. Uh, mm. So I think we've yeah. got yeah. So yeah, we don't give money when it's required. Uh, uh, whatever we have out here, we got a minor. in the Jerickson mm, yeah yeah it's come it's come it's, it was just a little slow sorry my bad guys sorry, yeah so right erickson erickson that's that's next i keep would him. i would keep him can not keep him uh, we need we need a veteran in our squad yeah okay, we need i mean uh, he's I, I the kind of guy you bring on uh, when when you're playing he's uh, but let's let's be honest like erickson before the injury so before the injury he was, he was better, better. Yeah. after the injury he's not the same yeah Plus, he doesn't have the legs, obviously, yeah. uh, to play every high match. intensity, big high games. intensity. He needs to be rested. He needs to be rested. So obviously, but he's a quality player to yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, he's an excellent player. Too. I would, uh, I would keep I him. Would keep him over, obviously, keep Fred uh, over uh, McTominay over. Plus, we have plus, to understand we've course. been using Eriksson in a position that it's not what he did exactly. Want to play. And I mean, Eriksson, we need to be using Eriksson more up front. that is where we can pull more out of him yeah. he's he's done a fabulous job for us mm-hmm. and what we expected from him has been like mental it's mm-hmm. been enormous the guy just about over a year ago was flat on the pitch with his heart stopped i mean it's a miracle the guy is still playing football it's yeah. it's it's massive respect to this man 
and at this level so i mean you can't expect more out of him mm. he's already giving your squad so much yep so i think we i would still keep him definitely as an option to use tactically in games we need but we can't use eriksen for more than 40 to 60 minutes is what yeah, we, we need to understand yeah we can't. He can come he's off. A luxury he's, to have, he's, but he's a squad player to keep. Bank on, yes. He's a squad player to keep. You can start him at uh, Carabao Cups. You can start Tactical him at Tactical games, Eshinkan. smaller teams, teams smaller that teams. have a lower block. Where, 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 or otherwise, he's a good option to yeah. have to coming from the Absolutely. bench. Absolutely. Yeah. And Bruno Fernandes, oh, the, he's the real captain, captain of the right. squad. The real captain, the real captain <laughs> of our squad. So he's he's my player of the year. And, um, the, and he's not I would agree to he can and he's better than that yeah. he's better than that and the I man who is the agree, player of the just, season just the amount of games, games and played, minutes this guy has played you cannot underestimate 90 the minutes. facts yeah. 90 minutes he's, you he's, cannot my underestimate the, the fact and I mean even if I don't give it to Bruno it would still be Casemiro not Rashford for me we will come back to Rashford but yeah but, Bruno is my player of the year to keep yourself uh, fit, fit and be make yourself available for every game uh, even when when you've played every game in your international uh, level as well plus every world game cup. on the domestic so the level world cup really playing at the world cup also my it's god really that really man was everywhere he played more yeah. minutes than any and, and you any cannot other deny his captaincy. in the world we 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 won uh, uh, more number of games when he's the captain oh his winning numbers as a captain, captain is off really. the charts he's a stat pad it's a stat off pad. the charts so, i mean you can't even argue with that and stats call one game he was not there and you see why we missed it's, bruno obviously it's uh, that man i mean it's simple even blunt with see simply game. even in in games where bruno's not having a good game where um he some can days, have a defining yeah, pass yeah. Defining you can you can uh, throw him off touch. to the right and all and sometimes you'll see he's he vanishes from games or he's not have the impact but what people do underestimate is even if he's not putting in a hollywood pass or uh, having a good game where in he's scoring or it's assisting the amount he's running yeah. and covering the distance taking bruno off the pitch is as good as taking three players off the pitch in united in terms of distance is covered yeah so just for that aspect he'd be my player of the season he's too. been one of yep. the best signing the past 3 years the best he's the best signing, best signing for so so and january signing i mean i don't even know when did we last do we, a jan sign need, like that we need <laughs> signing like him and Desano. exactly that is Very what we need more in the january yeah. window so uh, next casemiro oh. world class man world class keep him He's just hated by the. Just, I mean, he's hated yeah, by, yeah. The, he's, he's hated that's, by that's, the, the. He's hated by the entire. He's, he's uh, very sad. English I mean, media. I think I, I, I think the mainstream media just cannot handle uh, a thirty-year-old whom they expected to come here and probably yeah, just uh, show. get a paycheck. Yeah. Starts to come here, dictate the game, and is running the show. Ends up putting in numbers and stats and performances that makes all your other players look average. Yeah. in terms of his hmm. age Cassidy and the p- performances he's putting in he's been excellent. excellent i mean wow and he's been scapegoated by these referees he has he been targeted he, he didn't deserve to have those eight match ban absolutely not that i those mean were, that costed those two enough. were not red cards that were not red cards his did. him be him not be yeah. there and it's not just it's about missing sport. him in games i mean when it's you presence. throw a player off eight games and then he has to come back it's it impacts for, his yeah, game as yeah, well right yeah, you can't just come game, back and play at the top level the, again your team's game we lost eriksen and casemiro at we, we very lost. wrong point yeah, during yeah, the season yeah, yeah. like we lost yeah. martinez yeah, yeah. martinez yeah, yeah. also yeah. i think martinez for this part i'll tell you i think we lost the fa cup final because we lost martinez yeah yeah I don't see, see any of point. those goals going in with Martin is uh, out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um no offense to Lindelof, no credit taken away from him. He's been fabulous the last couple of you know uh, weeks and when we needed him. But the goals we conceded, I don't see us concede them with Martin is and his mm-hmm. defensive awareness and mobility. Yeah. Yeah. In that yeah that that, that goal will have been and Varane and Martinez have the that Gundogan that telepathy the, understanding that under the telepathy they, they know where the other is if you see the second goal uh, that we conceded against City in the FA Cup final where uh, the cross just comes in right at the edge of the box again with Gundogan com- uh, completely Martinez free all the space Martinez would have. charged at him like a you bull butchered, from that center back i i i don't see this happening at all this is a huge issue with manchester united i yeah. do not see every time in these corners and set pieces 
uh, we have nobody monitoring the edge of the box. There's always players just loitering around of the opposition team at the edge of the box, free to get that second ball or a direct volley. We don't have players coming in and pressing them. Have this, have this something in them that they, they switch off. Yeah, exactly. They, they just switch we off. We start our second half switched off. They, they just lose focus. Like, yeah. It's something mental problem. It's it's a mentality. It's, it's a mentality. It's, it's, it's character. I it's think which is why Ten Hag is why, looking yeah, for yeah. these characters. He's looking to change those characters and bring those typical characters because in. Because time and again we've seen that they come out in the second half, they concede a goal. They yeah. come in the first half, they concede a goal. Like the start is so slow. As in, yeah. where is your Focus. The intensity well, is not there yeah, from the get go. Not it there. Was evident. And I'm not saying it's there from seconds, every player. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's not from every player. No, but even not. if one not. player do, does that, you're out of the game. Yeah. One and player also like does yesterday's that. Game, game. Like we said, you know, in games like that, small, the tiniest of errors can be really costly. Like, you know, I've I've pointed this out before. We spoke about this in the game. Um the third goal that we concede in just 13 seconds, a ball comes out. It's it's a loose ball. Nobody tracks Gundogan, which somebody should. Start of the game, you're not at the you're not on point. You're not <laughs> on your feet. You're laid back. You're on your heels. You, you're not switched on. Nobody heading, tracks heading, Gundogan. Heading the and then Lindelof. I mean, again, it's a very small error. He gets above the player. He does clear the ball. But at this level. You cannot be clearing the ball right at the center. Martinez won't make that mistake. Mart- he that, would, that was a crucial. Exactly. Exact 15 seconds in and we already felt it. Exactly. That's my point, right? Minor errors can get be so costly. Yeah. Such a small error. And we've conceded in 13 seconds. And we make another error. So, we've let in easy goals. Yeah, we've let in we easy goals. goals. And that, that is down to the players. We, we contain City, but we couldn't play our own and game. that is not down to the manager. That is down to the players. Hmm. That is what we are lacking in this squad. That is why Ten Hag wants characters. He demands that character. Then we need it's, to. it's okay if we go out and put our best and lose the game. And it is just funny that it took a Ten Hag to come in to get those characters. And I'm sure that Mourinho wanted those characters as well. That's the reason why he was said that he said that he, yeah, he, he, he wanted Martial off. He wanted uh, Pogba off. Oh, Mourinho Why? was, I mean, Mourinho he was, was criticized out of right. his life he knew because, he wanted, he was... because he blatantly, uh, you know, spoke about Marshall and some of these people players whom he wanted out. They didn't listen people, to him. People said Where is Marshall Mourinho today? The I mean, what did Marshall do since, uh, since Mourinho has left? What has he done? Nothing. Nothing. Goals nothing. Three nothing. I mean, he's still a prospect. Goals in yeah. He's still a prospect. Don't. Let's not Marshall even talk about Marshall's injury record. Let's he not even talk about his injury record. You can't rely on the guy. Everyone. I mean, no, we so since rely. we're on Marshall here, yeah, let's let's just Marshall. you know. I would just put him here, right? Just, just put him straight to sell. sell. And I would have, if if I were the owner of, of I, Manchester United, I would have sold him four years back. Yeah. I I, I, I don't understand the whole the whole fan base of Marshall the Marshall FC people because I don't know. Please, I mean forget his FC inju- people I, I are highlights. Let's not even talk about his injury record. Without being injured, what does Marshall offer? Nothing. Other than just uh somebody who's agile enough to just run. I will tell you He's in, gotten in, progressively in, worse over time. In, in ninety I'll his tell you graph has not been this way. I'll tell you a Marshall in ninety minutes will give you quality for four four to five minutes. Yeah. And that, when it comes, you never know. It can come just, uh, you know, a minute before he gets subbed off. Anytime. In that five minutes, if he scores a goal, it's fine. During you, Alex you don't get I remember get, being frustrated at watching Nani play. Exactly. And, and now, Nani is and now, dude, I mean, Nani, Nani would uh, be dude. our star. I, I, Valencia I, was better. <laughs> dude, and I you mean, should we get frustrated Valencia. We've criticized Nani. We've, we've criticized, criticized Valencia. Valencia. We've criticized Chris Smalling. We've criticized Danny Welbill. We've criticized we Zaha. We, I would have all, all these five. five players right now, yeah. any day, over the likes of Marshall, Ilana, Rashford, Elanga. These players who have no passion and heart. I, I, know, mean, I won't. I won't say if when it comes to Rashford, know, passion or if heart. It's is I, there, no, I mean, but it's just the ability is not. See, there. He, he, I, I know. He's someone I, who I would keep, not agree. He's not someone no, no, who can be relied on. He's no. the only. I, 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 I don't agree. agree. I'd I'd keep Rashford. I mean, I see again another controversial opinion. Very controversial. I would right now keep Rashford again for the only reason is that right now we can't sell him because. Obviously, obviously, we need people will say that he scored thirty goals. I, I, like thirty now, goals. Let him do it again next year. If he doesn't, no, then... no, simple. Ooh. What does Rashford get on the table if he's not scored a goal? Yeah, goals are his. Uh, goals are what he's there for. Does he create right? chances? Has he created no, chances? Good enough. Can Rashford dribble? Can he dribble? No. Nah. Can he pass? <laughs> he can charge for a can ball. Can he cross? 
Can no. he create he can chances? Run down the when the ball is coming from the top, people say that is his forte, he that is his strength. But he will, bounce, he, will, he will wait for He'll it to bounce. He'll always wait for it to bounce. Tell me once where... He'll take a one touch, get it under control, Have you finish? ever seen a ball come from top and Rashford go for it straight to goal nah. as a volley nah. or something? Did you expect a Have Van Persie seen... kind of goal from mm. Rooney coming and just... And I mean, uh, uh, contrary and uh, I would not agree with you in terms of saying that Rashford has heart and passion because... I'll uh, oh simply God, put. He's uh, really upset with us. <laughs> simply put. Yesterday there was a clip going around about Marcus Rashford. A uh, ball goes in the air. Rashford yeah. is right there with a City player, yeah. jumping to no, get the ball. No effort. And Rashford is just stood on the ground, looking at the ball with not even effort. Forget not going. You can't judge the ball. You can't go. You probably late. You don't. You don't jump around. He I don't even see him moving towards the player to put the player off or yeah. to even try to contest for People that ball. That he, in there is an injury the problem biggest or something like that. Injury problem? I don't know. They get off then from the He's game. worried about injury? My. The biggest game of the year with Manchester United's history at On the stake. line. In that game, you are telling me that Rashford does not go for a 50-50 ball because he he's worried about injury. Chance. Worried about injury. Wayne Rooney has played with shots, with yeah. fractured toes. Fractured toes. He would have broken played. his leg rather than more let pitch. City win a game like that. When Rooney was different. So, if you're talking about sure. heart, if you're talking about passion, we still have some I, we need to when those, I, yeah. See, when I talk about heart and passion, I talk about heart and passion, what Manchester United is used to, what what passion for Manchester is. Players, what, what the likes of Wayne Rooney, Roy Keane, yeah. Vidic, these guys put in, what they did for us. The likes of Rio Ferdinand, what have these guys put in for this club? These guys would let... I mean, Vidic, Vidic is known for saying that you can get your, your nose head or fixed, your nose fixed. But not your but pride. But you can't get your pride fixed. Mm, it's losses. And losses. we've got a player today just standing and looking at the so ball in your biggest lost game. We've lost 7-0 in the same end. What, Rashford has been... Uh, and Marshall has been in our uh, club since what, 6 years, 7 years now? I mean... I'm all for Rashford. See, I'm I'm all. I'm, 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 I'm given up. But I am all. I'm, see, I'm given up on Rashford. I'm all. I to, given up I'm all, all set to keep Rashford. Yeah, because for, we no, can't keep him. Keep him. Keep him because keep we him can't sell. as a rotational yes. left winger. Correct. Who's not Correct. on a three hundred thousand pound salary and who is and not your leading man. The cat we can't and who's not your leading man and your number one striker. He's not a leading man. I've said it time and time again. He's not a striker. left winger. So and you've got someone, agrees, and you've got someone who can, you can bring on the bench whenever if you If he need. agrees to be on a 150,000 pound salary like I uh, want, how you know players and wingers of his quality in the know, Premier League are and know, as people, a squad rotational player happily keep him. People talk about stats <laughs> when it comes to Rashford. I don't know why that he scored 30 goals. I would have a Grealish in my team over Rashford any day. You I know would. why? You know why? Because Grealish does more for the team for the team to score goal. He will not lose possession. He will draw fouls. There will be two people coming on him and still he will not lose the ball. He will give the ball to other, uh, his own teammate. Rashford will not do that. Rashford doesn't have the ability to And do I mean, that. even when Rashford does... I would, why, uh, why would I have the Grealish on the wing and not Rashford? Is for the same reason. Because he I will hold the ball. Should, uh, and we have to... And, we, 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 and it's high time that we go... Ten Hag wants his team to start playing possession style football. He yeah. doesn't want the counter-attack style football. He had to do it because he didn't have the players. Now, if you're saying if you want to keep Rashford as a left winger, as a starter, then you have to have a counter-attacking system. Because with when you play a position, you, can only play you will lose possession. Yeah. You can only Time play Rashford in a counter-attacking system, which is why Time I said I'm okay to have him as a yes. squad player in games where we need counter-attacking. That is where I will use Rashford, but not no, as my leading no, man, no. not at £300,000 a no, week. No. I want my winger to create chances. To assist, to exactly. score, to do everything, exactly. to not I mean, lose the ball. Every single time that you're going on the wing, go on that, that even the, the now, penalty I mean, box. Look, How many times? Even today, it? Rashford in this season, Rashford scored 30 goals because we're playing counter-attacking football to his strengths where United, the first chance they get, we'll lob the ball up ball. to Rashford. Yes. The moment we start playing progressive ball, playing possession-based football like Ten Hag wants to play, Rashford Rashford's goal anything. scoring goes down the drain. It starts. His stats start dropping. Faster than you can say Marcus. 
definitely it will stop because his strength is not retaining the ball he doesn't know how to keep the ball thing that being said that being said marcus is not a topic okay. of conversation so we, this transfer window like so we said we keep we him have, right have, now have, because we have, we have, we have, have no option. option we are so deep in shit right now yeah. that he is the least of our exactly. concern which is why he needs the guy which is why he still in the squad yeah. bottom line moving on, exactly moving on, next? Um, moving on and we have alanga Sell, sell, sell. He's sell, not even he's he's gone that lone phase also. Yeah, pass the lone phase. Sell Again it. with Elanga, I feel bad for him because we his bad development bad. has been we we've been poor but when it comes to he's developing. He's not even an end product. Is like, he's end product. See, but that's my point. Good enough. He would that's have been point. another. We threw him. We've thrown him into the Sharks in the Premier League when he should have been on loans years ago. Rashford. Again, same problem. Threw him also under the yeah, Sharks. Yeah, we've done. We've done that. We we bought these guys much earlier than they should have. Like I said. That like I said, unless somebody breaks the ranks, like somebody like Garnacho who's come in guns blazing, you need to go through a loan at least in the Premier League. Yeah, and that is a mistake we had with even Rashford. Rashford did come so, come in guns blazing himself when he when he came. No, he did not. Player. Yes, no, he did, did not. He what? did. I mean, he, he, he scored a few goals, but he, he scored two goals in his debut. Arsenal. He scored two goals in his debut, but how, what was his tally that season? But that for, for, a, no, no, for a kid no, no, that sorry, is for a kid that is phenomenal coming that is from the same similar from, to Ganacho come is which similar, is similar very fact, similar he scored more than yes, Ganacho did yes very season. very similar yeah, yeah, very yeah, similar yeah. Check, check the stats but uh, even Gan with Ganacho we have to be again, realistic it's even he, even Ganacho best, like his good again, development it's all again development important. it depends on the development as well yeah, even yeah. Ganacho can I'm easily go off the wagon I'm not yeah. because with the attention you get to, right now with the attention yeah. United players get and specifically youth players you are obviously Ganacho can also go off the wagon That's easily so it's all world. about development how you shield these players which is why you cannot throw United players straight into the limelight. Without developing them properly, look at Phil Foden. Do you, are you trying to tell me that Rashford is better quality than Phil Foden? No, no, no. How much time does Phil Foden play as compared to Marcus Rashford? Really? He's been groomed. That's how you develop Foden's youth. Been groomed. That, is groom, like that is how you groom. That is how you groom youth. So that's Old my point. Talent. If you want to compete with City, <laughs> that's the need. That kind of development you need. Not like what we did with Elanga and Rashford. Yeah, true. Yeah. We don't have that luxury, unfortunately. We haven't had that. Yeah, we don't. Ever since. So and this is short air. Hmm. Short air. Alone. Again, loan. Loan. Yeah, even I, I think I've I I not watched too much of short air. I have. I am. Um, so I have. Uh, still. Um, I think that he still has time and time. Let's he see. Maybe time. on how he does. Put but him on the loan a season. One more loan. If, if, yeah, one more loan. If it if it works out well, good. If it doesn't, then maybe then, let then him go next year. <laughs> the amount of players we put under sell maybe too much business for our. Uh, but this is but what management, this, our club management. See, this should it's too much for them. Yeah, the but this is what this, should this, this is this is, this is what job, should yeah. tell you the whole story about what's been happening at United. Yeah, this is what should be happening actually. About wow, we've, oh we've also put put in Luke Shaw in there, which we ideally would want to sell. We would want to sell Rashford ideally. We yeah. would want to sell Dallo, uh, Dallo ideally, but we've. We've kept him there. We kept these Because guys there because we have no option. Yeah, we can't no sell option. them. Otherwise, there were three to four more players coming in down there. If you want to go to over there, if you want to fight for all titles, this is what you need to do. It's going to so, take time. Weghorst, obviously, he's already, um, gone. He's already gone. He's already gone. Yeah. Let's, let's he's not already good gone. Hard, yeah. Good uh, pressing, yeah. but that's about. Would have loved for him to score yeah. yesterday. We yeah. all would have. We all would have. You know, would would have have the, good ending for him at yeah. least. Would have been. We all legend. loved him as a player in terms of yeah. the work ethic and everything, but just not yeah. the quality. Yeah. Quality. Not United material. Jaden Sancho, self. He's again the, another a bit of a, a controversial, a controversial one. Controversy, but he comes with the English passport. We need to be ruthless. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. See, here. um, uh, to that he's, I would tell you, um, say he's got moments you of give him that chance. I, I to that my answer would be okay. Oh, agree with you and say we give him a chance another season. We let him give him that time that he needs, and he still ends up being the same that he is this year. Will anybody buy him next no. year? No, thirty million. Tops 25, 30 million. 25. After 30. we've sent a player for three months for rehabilitation with nothing to do with injury and football, That's and he chance. comes back and he still doesn't deliver. Think you think any other being, club will give you 30 million for that? He's been far too inconsistent no. this season also. See, with Jadon Sancho again, I loved him at Dortmund. I would have loved for him to succeed 
but it's we been too long for another Rashford and Martial. Again, with we me. cannot keep doing this where the we keep push stretching players it is. longer than they should be and then struggle to sell like them. Like a Guardiola, how much is he going to get for Sancho this season? Right now, we right can now. still get about 40, 40 to 45. Max 40, 45. No, Mount, people are demanding Mount. But, but Mount is still a better player. No, no man. Are, what? No, man. Mount, Mount has, is, this season has been shit. Mount, Mount has won two sales. Chelsea has been shit player of the year. Great. Two Chelsea players. You're talking player. about a, Sancho one. You're right. talking about a huge player. And United player. Ali was a top player once upon a time. But Great. Mount has done more. Great. Mount is starting for England. Is Sancho starting for England? You you know right Mount. No, they won the Champions I, I think I no. think this last year Mount and Sancho Great. have been similar. No, Level, no, levels have no. been similar. This, Mount, this last year. Um, what? Sancho second. has done nothing. Neither has Mount. Mount has still done two seasons. Sancho has Again, not done last year. Last season. See, last season. Not about understanding. Great. In EPL, talking, what has he done? You're talking about a homegrown youth player. EPL homegrown talk. youth player. Come on, explain me what forget, has he done in EPL. Forget the last two years. Great. Forget the last two years. Homegrown youth Entire player. NC was bad. Yes. Under no, a so team, entire under three managers. Three managers what are you in talking a year? about? See, I'm not talking about the past three years, two years, Mount. No, Mount, Mount is being You're better. talking about, you're talking about this season. season. Only this season. But has he been bad in a bad, uh, a good Chelsea team? Chelsea even Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Craig, even Cristiano Ronaldo cannot create you magic. You come out and make statements like he's been bad. When? But the entire Chelsea team, team has been bad. You're, you're a, a club that has got three oh, uh, managers in one season. How bad has that been? Yeah, they've, they've been through a tough patch. Nobody's been good. I mean, when your entire squad is, good. Is, is when your whole squad is terrible, I was not even been good Cristiano for cannot do anything. Jao Felix not been good for Chelsea. Kovacic has not been good for Chelsea. Yeah, the whole squad sucks. Exactly. Mount because has and before that, Mount has won two player of the year season Mount for Chelsea. Great. a Champions League, I get it. Oh, one second. Great. Great. Phenomenal great. player in the yeah. past. But if last season has been good. Look at Chelsea no, right now. It's not like Chelsea does not have good players. They have but it's simple. very good players. I'll exactly. tell you very simply. There can be 11 great players, but still play the shittiest football because there is nobody to tell them what to do on that pitch. There has to be a plan. There has to be a, there has to be a manager. They have not had a single manager they knew is going to last for more no, than no, no, Mount wants to seven games. <laughs> there has Mount to be a certainty of game plan, right? You you are talking about a youth China player who doesn't China know China. what to do. And, and for me, it's simple. My manager Eric Ten Hag wants him. I trust my manager. Exactly. Even though yeah, I don't same. like him, same. like. And Ten Hag so doesn't ring a bell with anyone of us. Yeah, but, like, but uh, Ten Hag deserves it. He wants him. Ten Hag deserves it. He's proven with his signings and what he's done this year. So, if he really thinks Mount is good enough and he wants him and he thinks he can play, he can Im- look at what he's yeah. done with Van Bissaka. Look at what he's done with, you know, some of our other players. Imagine what he can do with the likes of Mount, who's still a prospect. Yeah. Who's still actually a prospect. A unlike prospect. Rashford and Marshfield. 24 years old, Mount is. Yeah, yeah. So. See, but uh, with the selling part, like I was always on the fence. Sancho being sold, provided we get money this year, I think it's too big a risk keeping him on for one exactly, more Exactly, yeah, because then we need the money now. See, we look at his wages. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. Look he's at his wages. Man. Next year, who's going to give us money given his wages? Who will pay his wages if he flops another year? Who's going to pay his wages right now? Exactly my point. So if you're gonna if you're having a to sell him, who's if you're having him? a hard time selling him now, how many years is he left on his left on his contract? Three years, two years? Yeah. yeah. I, I think, think yeah, three, 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 three years again. Yeah. But someone's got to pay. That's that's, that's the my point. That's the reason why we PSG, need PSG, PSG maybe. That is that the is point, why and we that's Al-Thani. why we, what Alkhani does is it's bad debt. Okay, bad debt. Let it go. I I will not take forty million. I will take thirty million. I will expect. I will take twenty. With that ten million, you pay him the wages. That's what people yeah, do. Know. That's what I'll think. That's what you need to do. You need to be that ruthless. And that can, again, the, all of this can only happen if we are bought by super wealth. We can't do that under... Uh, we Sir can't Jim do that under Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Blazers. Hopefully... Okay, then. moving on. Who's the so, next? Again, for, uh, I mean, we're putting him in cell. Yeah, cell. Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho has to be sold. And the Keep wonder him. boy, He's a future star. Garnacho. He's a superstar. I don't think he Groomed him. Again, he just... He needs to be protected. He needs, he to, needs be, to be protected, he needs yeah. to be developed much better than what we've been doing. And he Again, needs, he needs to listen to that. What people have to understand is yeah. that even he Phil Foden has an English hat. passport. What people have to, needs to understand even Phil Foden has an English passport. Mm. And that is what you need to look to. We need to develop players like that. Yeah. So that's what needs to be done with Garnacho. Yeah, but again, with Ten Hag, 
I think you know he's the guy who can do it. Let's hope we get it right this time. And finally, our star England. signing of the year, Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, we were off. Anthony, we're going to keep him. By we're going to keep him. No, no, we should keep we him should. because he's done a good job this season. Uh, obviously, he's improved. He's improved. See, what, 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 what we get from him, we didn't get it yeah. this season. But. Uh, He's, 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 the, he's a better winger than what we have. But I think Anthony's progressed uh, as the season's progressed. gone as well. He's, he's taking he's on players. He's better, beaten a couple yeah. of players. Start of the think, season, he wasn't beating anyone. He was cutting back. He was passing the ball. I think he's still... He needs that yeah. fullback as we discussed Plus, earlier. I think he Anthony's... He needs an attacking right back. Yeah, 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 he he needs an attacking. Anthony's a little a more like how Cristiano was when he just come in. With... with with, with the Andy plan and, and, and everything, he needs to get a bit more mature. His yeah, decision yeah. making has to improve yes, a bit he needs more. That confidence also and he that confidence that. again, that confidence he that he needs, he I think, is because of that little lack of confidence from his games. Uh, in uh, what is it? The that's that, the, from the, there to here, that little drop I think has thing, only been because of the, the intensity of yeah, Premier League. The, the pace and the intensity. So, and the pace. No, and so I think with, the thing I would get better. If I were Anthony, the thing I would want to improve in my game, mm. looking at Anthony, is a, a people are not realizing this is he's very injury prone. That's that's a scary shit. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, that's why I say Robin, Anthony, Robin Anthony, Robin Regen, Anthony okay. is okay. He got a hammer for left foot. He his another weakness is going on his right foot. Yeah, he has no right foot. He has no right foot. Non-exact. He will always, he will always cut. Non-exact. But if you want to be that player, then you have to be as good as Robin. Yeah. If there is Robin, Robin out of ten times he cuts in, seven times the ball is inside the net or on the target to his other players, his to his yeah. teammate. I mean, he does have a brilliant left foot, but yeah, then, he then, needs then, to improve. Then, then, also yeah. similar, like it took. Then, then, to improve a bit more. There. He needs to be better but, in terms yeah. of quality. I think it's, with it's, Anthony, or another thing I think with Anthony is that I think he needs to get a little bit more direct in terms of rather than always he, getting the ball and stopping. He, he needs, needs to, to take it in a stride and just go head he on with the defenders. One two or cut in and shoot. Yeah, exactly. And cut in and pass. Through ball. And he needs to keep people second guessing a bit. You know, he needs to start going a bit more down to his right foot as well and start crossing a bit yeah. more yeah. than he's been doing. Yes. So, yeah, I think with Anthony, I think, again, he's not had a preseason yeah, he's not under Eric Ten Hag. None of them had, man. So, and I hope again, that he doesn't miss a preseason. That, that is, a, and you know, I mean, for somebody coming uh, from where he has straight into a Premier League, not easy. It's, it's a massive and thing the, not the, to go through a preseason. The transfer fee. The transfer exactly. fee. The, that's that, not his fault. The, it's no, I mean, but it's the pressure, you know. The pressure. Right? The pressure yeah. million, and not even having a preseason and having that pressure does impact you. Like, if I would be Eric Ten Hag and the coaching department, I would tell him that don't, you know, just keep the price tag out of your head because that's not on to you. Yeah, that's that is what we you. needed to do to get you signed yeah, up, basically. Absolutely yeah. right. So, so, I would do that, yeah. That's about, yeah. I think, it. that's uh, every single player done. Yeah, so this, for is this video yeah, has been, it's been a and pleasure. Yes. I've enjoyed this show oh, yes, quite a lot. Enjoy, yeah. It's been an intense one. I think <laughs> a bit longer than we would <laughs> have expected, <laughs> expected or thought. Thought about it. But, uh, for a first show, I think not that bad. Yeah, yeah not, not, bad. Bad. not bad. And uh, not bad. thank you all for you know being a part of our uh, yeah. first uh, live video. And uh, if you guys love the content, then please uh, do hit that subscribe button. Turn the notifications on. Ding. We will be coming up with a lot more content and a lot of more videos in the future. Um, more live talk shows where we will have more guests coming in. Oh yeah, it's, gonna it's be fun. all going to yeah. be about interaction, opinions, yeah. and all opinions are welcome out here. Um, yeah. No, without any bias, and all opinions are respected. So, guys, if you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button as well on the video. Do like it yes. and subscribe and, and share. We'll see you guys soon. We'll see you guys soon. All right, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.